What's going on, usual suspects? Welcome to another great episode of the Monday Midsole. Apologize for the delay. Dan actually has a phone interview with Best Buy. He's working with tech support. So we going to get it rolling, but it's your co-host, Molly Mall, a.k.a. Mr. Accidental Purchase, a.k.a. Oops, I didn't cop another one. But uh, really excited for this show. We got a very special guest. Happy to bring him along to the platform. But before we get into all that, I'm going to kick it to my main man, the Mr. Marcus of the nursing home. What up, fam? It's your boy, Polos and Jays, a.k.a. Mr. Marcus. No, what the fuck? Oh. Yes. We back. All right. Sorry about that. We back. We up. And uh, we would go down when it was trying to pass it over to to unbox dude. What's happening, man? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike, aka Unbay Unbox, aka I don't have any other aka. So we're going to pass it over to the man who's running the behind the scenes action, Buck Nasty. Let's go. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's uh, Buckeye City. So somebody has. I'm not here, Echo. You know who it is. You know who it is. <laughs> it ain't me. Unplug and plug, plug in. Plug in. Hold on. Looks like. There we go. We good? Of course. I pulled. I don't hear anything. I pulled out and put it in. Say something. <laughs> I am ready to bring you the picks of the week brought to you by our sponsor, Insure. <laughs> we need to hit them up for real. Coming in first this week, we got the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Flyknit Golden Harvest. Uh, not feeling these. What do everybody think about these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that it. graham cracker, man. That, that's terrible. They're the color. Yeah. yeah. One flying it is okay. All this other stuff, you can miss me with that, man. Let's 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 move on. They're doing too much. Oh yeah, they they go overboard as always, just like they are with these. Oh, these are, they still coming out with these? Lord. Still coming out. And there's several more after these, but these this this is a women colorway, the light bone. I like the colorway. Light bone. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. He, didn't, he didn't put two groups together. It was Lisa, Lisa, and Cold Jam, and it was the Jets. He put two, <laughs> two groups together, man. Say with your age right. Say in your age right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we got the, the KDT and the Triple Blacks. One, I'm sure it's one that Dan probably going to want to pick up. I still don't have any KD. What everybody think? S. Stockton. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm I'm okay with the uh with the solid colorways. Kevin, I'm being told that they can't hear you. Hold on a second. Yeah. You hear Kev? Nope, oh, can't hear Kevin. That's what everybody's wow. saying in the chat. Oh, I get. I like how Pino left me out there. Mom. I mean, you're the one who messed everything up. So yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> you know what? Can it's we? Your fault. Full size, Ryan, full size Ryan, aka Mr. Untech. I'm not like <laughs> I can hear you fine. I hear you just fine. I don't, like I don't like your new internet service, Marcus. You ain't dropping no more. Don't hate. You used to be good for dropping it about nine. Yeah, but just because you got them Apple headphones from the first phone that came out. <laughs> they Apple. Up right, nigga. They, they Apple. Just sign in through Kev. All right, but while we're waiting on Kev, let's go to the next one. We got the Nike Kobe AD, the mid black gum. Mar, you like any of these? Yeah, that's what I am not. Dope. No, I'm, I'm not. I like the swoosh, 
solution is different. It reminds me of the uh, Kyrie 3 EYBL. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But outside of that, I'm going to pass on those. Yeah, me too. I also have a couple. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Let's start and talk. Can y'all hear, can y'all hear KF chat? Okay, he didn't got all up on the microphone. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> bear, bear oh, deep voice, voice to men. <laughs> he said, can y'all hear me? As he seduces me. They, they say they still can't hear you. Man, why well, tell you? Uh, all episode, why we, why we gotta have this? I know, we didn't crash the server. Everybody. Perfect for any bond, he didn't crash the server. If no, baby. <laughs> Everybody like, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, how y'all gonna blame my dial up? It ain't me, Kevin, the one y'all can't hear. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. I think. Is this better? Is this better? Can y'all hear me now? <laughs> I am the captain. Stop it. <laughs> hey, can y'all hear? Uh, okay, they say they got you now. All right. All right. Woo, finally. Man, wow. y'all lucky I'm genius. We might have just had to run this over again. Yo, what's going on, usual suspect? Nah, nah. <laughs> Man, y'all missed some. I had some good <laughs> jokes too. Fuck y'all. <laughs> well, yeah, we oh, definitely hit right. All right, this this is a pair that uh, Mike told me he was gonna be looking for. Oh, so that's right up his alley. We put them, right them dag on jeans too. I bet, right? Yeah, and, you know, probably when, with them wide leg carpenter pants. Hey, you're gonna be wearing you're gonna be wearing them Hitler pants with the little <laughs> with the little uh, thing in the side. <laughs> I was, I was them, thinking, uh, like leggings. One of them horse whips. <laughs> you leggings and church socks again? Oh <laughs> man! And his off white belt on. Oh. He's gonna be wearing uh, some baseball stirrups and a gold jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. What up, what up? What's going on, what man? Going on, man? I made Perfect it. Pair. What's good? <laughs> Glad to have you, on, man. Glad to have you. I'm not I'm not very savvy with all this technical <laughs> stuff, so I hey. had to figure this out. Hey, it's no worries. Good, we man. aren't either. Apparently we I was on here for about five, <laughs> ten minutes without a without a mic, so we I think we're good now. We're good now. But yeah, man. man. They said they can't hear you, dog. Again? We lost yeah. Again. No, there's no way. I see it. I see the levels moving on the mic. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Neither is Kev. Wait, what? No, I think. Right. No, that's 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 from before. Uh, Pay that no okay. mind. I can see. I can see the levels moving now. So right. we good. All right. Well, let's 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 run through these last few uh, <laughs> weekly drops. All right. Uh, let's pull up this Nike SB Dunk Pro Dream Team 92 University Red. Mm. Anybody, anybody looking at that? Uh, I'm I think it's under, it's underwhelming, man. <laughs> <laughs> we also got a blue colorway, the obsidian. It's definitely not. That's, that's dropping. So, <laughs> what you say? <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. No, not the blue. <laughs> Calling out your fake beats. Yeah. I mean, we we really have a very low key week. I mean, it's it's really nothing there. So good, fucking let's, good. Let's okay. get past that and let's right. get to so welcome Daniel. Oh, He's here yeah. less than a minute and there's already one F bomb. Let's keep it going. I think I, I, I think I might have broke the, the hymen on that one. Yeah, you you uh, were at 811. <laughs> he just got it. Wait, is Dan in a button up? Good Lord Almighty. Hold on. My eyes this yeah. uh, <laughs> the boy clean. Man, let's right, get right. to the reason why I am here with y'all tonight, because I didn't want to hang out with y'all. Let's get to the man, the legend. All right. Kev, do your thing. Not you, Dan. I know. <laughs> well, everybody, uh, we got today, man. Thank you for uh, you know spending some time with us, man. Kenny, perfect pair. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Same old same. Just enjoying the SoCal weather right now. It's nice and cold. It feels good out here, so it's good. It's man, nice. it's it's. I bet you it's better than here. It's cold and raining, and it's 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 stupid out here, man. But uh, but again, man, you know, thanks thanks again. But we're just gonna jump right into it, man. So when did you start collecting and like what got you into sneakers? So, you know, you know, true collecting, it would have to start in about 98, 99. Uh, the 92 is the era of me getting into Jordans heavily. Okay. Uh, but, you know, collecting sneakers would have to happen after I got about, about 21. So I'm 40 now. So about 19 years ago. So you figure the end of 99, 98-ish, right around there. So 
I've been doing it too long. That's the best way to say. Uh oh, too long, long, too long. So how did so, you? You know, go ahead, go ahead. No, I and, and I got started in the whole PE game with a, a '98 shoe that was made for for Michael Jordan. It's a, you know, it's a Cherry 13, Playoff 13, whatever you like to call it, the red and white 13. I got that shoe um, from a place called Field of Dreams, Dallas, Texas. Okay. And um, I lived in Oklahoma City at the time. I lived there for 31 years of my life. A lot of people don't know that. That's why they're like, oh, where did he come from all of a sudden? Well, I just moved to California. So, okay. But the point is, um, I, I bought that shoe, and that kind of got me into the PE game. So I learned from that point forward that there were just shoes I wanted to obtain that people didn't freaking have. So and that's what I got <laughs> into to having stuff that I have today that still people haven't seen. I mean, there are people who know about them, but mm-hmm. their name would be Michael Jordan and – you know, big names like that. So Bibby and, you know, this, this stuff like I like having things that people just don't freaking have. And I think that goes back to most collectors and collecting things, no matter what it is, stogies or uh, fine wines or whatever it may be. I think they're looking for the rarest, best there is and the ones that nobody has. So, and that's not bragging rights. It's just saying, hey, I got it. Not saying you don't. Just trying to give you that, that push forward to maybe go, go find the shoe or, find something that you like that's similar to it or maybe pushes you forward to do something like that. So right. that's, that's, all it is. that's a healthy, that healthy competition that's in the, in the mm-hmm. culture. And, and that's part of the culture that, you know, that I, that I'm cool with. The one part I that I don't like about the culture is, you know, when, you know, people just like, they want people to follow in a certain lane, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. Oh, yeah. uh, sure. But let's, let's just kind of dive back into, into the past. Like, how did you yeah. even, how did you get the name the perfect pair? So perfect pair all comes from, and I know I've kind of hit on this a couple of times. It comes from my wife and I, um, it's her Instagram is still her Instagram. And it's not my Instagram. I, uh, she was, she was posting stuff, shoes everywhere, shoes behind the door, shoes here, shoes there, shoes. And then that was on her gram and it was just Montana Gonzalez. So Montana, Spain, I believe. So at the time we weren't married. Okay. The point is that she, she was posting my shoes all over the place. And then, we got more likes for sneakers than we did for our actual uh, <laughs> life that we were going through, you know, going to Dodger games or whatever, Laker games or whatever it may have been, mm-hmm. riding them, whatever it was, uh, that they didn't care about that. But as soon as the sneakers started going up, it was almost like a, like, like pit, pit bull ears, just pink. You know, they went right up and people started paying attention. And I was like, you know, here, post another shoe, post another shoe. And if you really go back and kind of log into it, I know it's a buttload of pictures to go through. But if you go back through the 30 something, 30, 100 photos, whatever it is, <laughs> but you'll see that on the, on the back end of it, it's my wife posting all that stuff. And she's actually like, my babe sneakers, my babe this, blah, blah. So, and then as we started going with all this stuff with the, with the shoes, I told her, I was like, we can't just, con- it can't be Montana, Spain or Kenny and Montana. So we got to come with some kind of catchy. And she threw it out there. She said, the perfect pair. It goes perfect for the sneakers and for us. So that's how I got to the perfect pair. Basically. Oh, that, that's what's it's up, all my man. wife's. It's all my wife's fault. That's what I tell everybody. Hey man, it's a, it's a team effort, man. And then uh, I mean, we all we all know that um, you 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 guys have gotten to that accident. How's everything going with you guys? We we are we are doing a lot better. You know, I expect a full recovery for myself. I expect a full recovery for my wife. Um, you know, I got bruised and battered. I got a broken back. I uh, got you know punctured lung, broke broken ribs. Uh, but she, she really got it. You know, I think as females, not no disrespect to females or anything like this whatsoever, but you know, bones are just a little more, you know, they're a little more dainty. They're a little more small and they go through a grinder like that. I mean, I'm a big boy. You know, I'm six foot four, 315 pounds. I'm a big gentleman. So for me to go through something like that was not quite as bad for something that's 125 pounds, you know, for five foot three. So right. she, took, she took a beating and it was like, a, it's like a human blender. And, you know, she broke her C2 in her, her neck. She broke her back. She had to have metal hardware put in her back. Um, she really went through it. But as all things in this world, as long as you take it on and understand that you can actually prevail through the end with a lot of good folks in your corner, which is what she had. I mean, not just saying myself, but mm-hmm. her whole family, a lot of friends, a lot of people, a lot of support from people like yourself, you know. And it's amazing to see from the time she started to where she is now mm-hmm. hey, god's good man that's all i can say so it's amazing it right. really is glad definitely glad to hear that man because i, I mean i had seen when it happened i was like man that's 
that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what I do, but maybe that even brought things even closer. But right. um, you know, so I mean, everybody knows that. I mean, and you just said that you know you like to collect shoes that people don't have. Um, but like, what's what's your grail? Like, what's the shoe that you know that's your perfect pair, just per se? So you're saying if the house is on fire and I'm running out, which one am I going to grab? Yep. White cement threes, and it don't have to be Nike Air on the back. Just regular white cement threes. When I look at that shoe, it's it's Michael Jordan. It embodies Michael Jordan. White cement or black, but for me, the white just pops. Yeah. Especially when they're clean, they're brand new out the box. That's why I've got seven pairs of the of the ones that just recently came out, and then all in all, I might have probably. 12 dead stock pair of white so I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get one <laughs> that's my <laughs> that's my that's, that's my thing though so it's like you know DJ Clark can't have a white up my my go to would be the white cement 3 so, oh man for sure. that's what's up so I know like um I mean you and I would say you and Jumpman Bossick are on like the the Mount Rushmore of you know of what the what I what I call a culture now let me ask you this: Like, do you get upset when people refer to you know what this is as a culture or uh, a community? Because there are some people that you know they say, "Oh, this isn't you know this this is just you know collecting," or you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like how would you classify it? Uh, culture for few, uh, game for all. That's okay. how I look at it. Um, I think that there are a few heads that still get it. Uh, but you notice how I said that a few heads that still mm -hmm. get it. Uh, other than that, it's it's turned to a straight. Uh, how do you say it without being? I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but it's just it's turned different. The game is different now. It's really these kids know what they're doing. The they're trying to get their money up. I mean, when I was 13 and 14, yeah, I wanted to be fresh. But man, I wasn't thinking about how much this was worth or that was worth and knowing the value of any of those things. So it wasn't a big deal to me. But these kids know and they know what's going on and they're smart. They're playing super good moves and doing things that I just, I'm blown away with sometimes. I'm like, wow, look at this. Look at this. But it's amazing to watch. Um, but, you know, culture for few, game for all, for sure. That needs to be on a t shirt. <laughs> hey. Let's go ahead and trademark that. Let me get some more. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, and, and, and you and, um, I mean, you and Jumpman, I, I mean, I always see you guys, you know, making appearances and things like that. Um, what would be, um, what was the part, like, out of the, all the events that you've been to, which one would you say was meant the most to you or you had the most, the most fun at? Mm. Kicklahoma was a good one for me whenever Juan flew me out and my wife and, you know, he told me that, you know, that, that Jump Bostic was going to be there and Mark was going to be there. And so I brought out a bunch of Ray Allen PEs. And I think what this culture lacks is the understanding of it's not about you all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it was a cool thing. Yeah, I brought some ridiculous shoes, but... I did it so that, you know, Mark could hold and have and see for a moment some things that he just had never got to put in his hands. And especially those crazy eights uh, that are that are rays, you know, the ray eights, the sugar mm -hmm. rays, whatever you want to call them. When I when I put that shoe in his hand, um, the tears, the smiles, the just the overwhelming feeling that it brought to myself to know what I brought to him. That's what this is to me, culture is all about, you know, and then to flip it, you know, to go to another, you know, like a horrible scenario of what I've been through and all this. You know, I've seen a kid, KD, come through, uh, which is K Kevin Durant, for people who may not know KD. Mm -hmm. But KD <laughs> came through and he signed a pair of sneakers for a kid. This kid was amp, you know, amp. And he put the shoe on his foot. He's like, ah, oh, put a pair, check it out, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't an hour later, man. This kid come back around and I see his hand up in the air holding uh. a pair. Of KD shoes that were signed. And I was, and I, so I walked over to him. I was like, hey, man, you know, you really selling those shoes? He goes, yeah, man, what do you, what do you, what do you think they're worth? Perfect pair. I was like, oh, man, they're priceless, bro. That's what you don't understand. I said, this yeah. is the moments we live for in this, and what we do is to have stuff like that happen. I mean, if that had been Michael Jordan coming through here and signing a shoe for me, 
because that's the same type of era I'm trying to compare this to to be right. in your young age. I said, bro, that's something you can never, you can't replace that. There's no value for that. And it didn't sink in until I said that. And then that young man grabbed the shoe, put it down and put it in the box. Now, I don't know if we sold it afterwards, mm -hmm. but point is there's a flip side to all that. You know, there's a good and then there's a bad to all of it that I get to see. And it's in a different light, not just people reselling sneakers or what I could care less about all that. That's cool, but I don't care about what people do with their money and this, that, and the third. So what I do care about is what I do with my time, my money, my family's time. That's what that's what I care about. All that other stuff is I could care less about, it, to be honest with you. Right. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm from the era too, where if I were to got to get you know a, a signature on something, I mean, if it had been Jordan, I mean, I'd still have it to this day. I mean, that'd be something that you know I carry it with me forever. And I, I think that kids look at at things differently, and that kind of takes me into the segue um, about like sneaker YouTubers. Like, what are your what are your feelings on you know like sneaker YouTube? Um, I mean, is it is it good for the the culture, or or what are your thoughts on it? Period. It has its ups and downs. I mean, it's great for, you know, the unboxings and showing people new product. And, you know, it's a great way to connect. It's a great way to have people, you know, socially, you know, get together and do things and to get to know somebody and, you know, you kind of get to see their way of life. It's kind of, those things are phenomenal. But there is a bad part about it. And I just see people who really don't know anything about anything. And all of a sudden they're, they're in the sneaker game because they've got a YouTube channel and a bunch of subscribers. And I, that part, I don't get, you know, mm -hmm. I'm very confused with some of that. You know, you ask some of them, show me what a Barcelona, you know, uh, Kobe is. And they're like, Barcelona, I didn't, I didn't know Kobe played soccer. You know, they'll play, they'll say something, <laughs> you know, you know, it's just something that you try to stump them with and they just don't, they, or you ask them like, what was the first shoe Michael Jordan ever did the free throw dunk with? And they mm -hmm. straight all the, the the twos or the threes. You're like, no, I did them in the ones. But the point is, is you just the they don't really know the culture and what they're trying to thrive off of, and they're ma making a great living off of it. But I just find it to be a little bit, I don't know. I mean, it's it's different. You know, it's it's right. it's not lying. It, it, it's almost like an act. You know, you got to put on an act to do a certain thing to make a certain amount of money. That's fine if you're an actor. Right. But I think when you go to YouTube, you're trying to be more real with it. And I think that's where it kind of, for me, falls short. Because I see a lot of these people who weren't there, even whenever people want to say, I started. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just go to that. We'll go, we'll go to that era right there. When they say, I started, I'm supposedly new booty. I didn't even see them then. So if I'm new booty in this supposedly 2012 or 11 era is what people, I hear it commonly. Um, then where were these people that are now relevant in this sneaker culture or sneaker game? Where were they then? You know, that's my thing. And when you go back and look at some of their YouTube content, and even if they were shooting YouTube videos back then, it didn't have a damn thing to do with shoes. So right. I think they saw, they saw the wave. They're riding that wave. The wave will crash. And it's just a matter of how hard they throw all their chips into one spot and see how it works you know gambling right. is a is a wonderful thing but it's also a it could be you know, yeah, an evil yeah, too, yeah you can you lose know? you can lose it all for sure <laughs> for sure that that's how i have you know what i have so people go and gamble every day and i you know i'm very blessed to have what we have in doing this but you know people are making mistakes or people making you know certain decisions every day i mean it's it is a gamble in your life every single day you wake up but you don't have to put all your chips in one spot and hope that it works out because if it doesn't, what are you going to do? You know? And that's, I think I've asked a question of a couple of these guys, where are you going to be when you're 40? You know, like I'm 40 years old right now. I'm, uh -huh. I'm very content with what I do. Do I have to post sneaker shoes, every sneaker shots, crazy shots, do that? No, I don't got to do none of that stuff. I choose to, I don't get paid to put up my own sneakers on my own Instagram uh -huh. and I'm not making any, dollar amounts really from perfect pair name a lot of other companies have made a lot of money off my name and i'm not mad at that but i just wish that they would have made me a plaque or yeah <laughs> hollered at you about it <laughs> i hear you made, man made me something that you know made me feel a little bit more special than just yeah i appreciate what you did and then move forward and 
I don't know, on to the next. You know, it's just wave ride, wave ride, wave ride. I mean, eventually, like I said, you can't surf forever, man. Right. So it's going to hit a bit of crash. It's all good. So what's your what's your favorite line uh, of sneakers? So you say it'd be Jordans. Uh, oh, man, I know you got some limited bronze. Yeah, I've been, always will be. Nike basketball will fall in second to all that. And then from there, it would obviously be you know, three stripes, new balance, stuff like that, runners. I say, you know, I love my love my Asics, I love my Salconies. My Salcony family keeps me laced up. I every day I must almost every week, every other day, I show up at the door, another box of stuff. I'm like, damn, that's what's up. Great lace. They, should, they up gotta they gotta that. get you in on the creators. Well, you know, and I I tried doing that with Brandon um probably two years ago. I was a little premature with it. But I was very, you know, um headstrong at that time and saying that I need a sneaker and blah, blah, blah. You know, I was mm-hmm. that guy, you know, I was barking up every tree trying to get a sneaker and I kind of backed away from all that. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I do have my own sneaker that was made by a company called a latte, okay. which is a company over in Italy. It's a full Italy, Italian made shoe, Italian, you know, leather is beautifully made. But again, it's just one of those things where, ends didn't meet for certain companies to be able to make certain things happen. And then they came to me saying, Hey, we need, you to, we need, we need you to pay for everything. It's like, nah, bro, it's not going to happen. So when the right time comes, the right time will come. And if it never happens, I'll just fall back on those perfect pair ones Uh-oh. that were made at a certain time. I'm not going to go into all the details, but if you go back and start looking at dates and on the side of the boxes and I'm, I'm flattered, you know, there's a, there's a Jordan out there with my name on the bottom of it. So that's what's up. That's what's up. So what do you, th- um, this is my last one. And then I'll, I'll open up to the panel. Um, what do you think the future uh, of Jordan brand is? I mean, everybody's talking about right now, the way that GRs are coming out week after week after week, and then they're kind of sitting. Um, but things are, I, I feel like there's a shift, but what do you think that the future of Jordan is? Man, it's going to be a tough one for the next year. But after the year, you know, I really feel that it's going to be an influx because it's going to get how much more boost can we have? How much? I mean, boost is a phenomenal sneaker. I love it to death. Mm -hmm. But how many more models can they really make? You know, they took it to his old silhouettes, new silhouettes. They've done everything not that they possibly can do. I know there's still more in the makes, but it's getting to a point where even those are sitting just like the Jordans are. So now it's. They're getting picky. These kids are wearing Vans now, man. This is the best yeah. way to say it. They're not trying to spend the uh, $150 or $200 on a pair of sneakers. They're only looking to spend $80, $90 bucks and walk out with two, three pair right. as opposed to, you know, one pair. And I see a lot of them just flying off the shelf, and I'm not mad at it. You know, I mean, have your own style, do your own thing. But Jordan brand will never go away or as the – particulars like to call it brand Jordan will never go <laughs> away but you know it, it will never be it'll never be a dead subject that's how I look at it and just unless you're going to go a completely different road and never mess with Jordan again I get that mm-hmm. but eventually I think you'll cross the path again and pick up a few J's here and there so oh yeah 100%. I don't think it'll ever go away man I, I'm never, never I'm never stopping but no, uh, I mean, that's that, those are my questions. I'm gonna open it up to the uh, guys in the panel, see if they had any additional questions. For sure. Right, uh, I'm I'm gonna just... go ahead, Marcus. Sorry, Mark, my bad. Y- right. y- 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 I know I'm hyped because you know this this dude right here is just like 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 uh like ever said Mount Rushmore, man. I mean, you hey. you, you would be up there with Jumpman for real. Thank you, man. I but, really uh, appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt, man. But my my first thing is, you know, you always say wear your shoes, wear your shoes, wear your shoes. Yep. Is there a pair in your collection that you would never put on? A pair that's going to always stay dead stock? Yeah, the LeBron Fruity Pebbles, the fours, will never be worn. That's a pair that I got. And I don't know, man. I just I looked at the shoe and I was like, this shoe is just too damn. It's almost too nice, too clean. The storyline behind it, you know, uh, how I acquired it was, man, it was a task. It was trying to find my size was so hard. And when I finally did, it was like, hey, you know, you know what? I'm gonna keep this shoe. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it. And if I ever do get that chance to meet LeBron James one on one, that'll be the shoe I take with me and have him sign to Kenny, all that stuff. And one of those days, whenever I pass away, uh, that'll be buried in my hole with me. So that's 
one of my dreams right there. So LeBron, you know, if you're listening, not... <laughs> put the brother up, make that happen. Make that happen. And my last question, what, what shoe out there has been unattainable for you? Oh. Something that you wanted that you haven't been able to get your hands on? This, this is very easy for me. Okay, in the LOS set, you've got all the ones. Uh, you got the crazy glitter joint, you got the 3M, and then you got the patent. And then you have the regular red LOS. And I cannot, for the life of me, find that shoe in my size for an un, you know, you know for, for an, an understandable price. Right. <laughs> A lot of these people, one time I found it, 12 grand. I was like, yeah, no, nah, not, not happening. I got money like that, but it's not happening like that. So I understand. That's I've, a car. I've, I've only done that one time for one pair of shoes, and it's only because I want a huge jackpot at a casino. A lot of people trip out. They're like, yo, you spent $12,000 on a pair of shoes. Yes, I did. One time. It's only because I won two hundred grand at the casino. I'm oh, this man. Very clear. <laughs> it, made it, it made it very simple for me to be like, hey, hey you know what? Yeah, I got 12 racks. Let's go. So right. it, it, it wasn't an issue, but that's the Blackout 11. That's the most expensive shoe I've ever bought in my life that I actually wear. Um, and a lot, I get that question a lot too, like what's the most expensive shoe? So that's it. But the, the hardest shoe that I've never been able to find in my size for a good price, the LOS, regular LOS one. That's the one. That's a dope shoe. Yeah. But any of that other stuff I can get, man. I can get all that other stuff. Oh, we know. We already know. Yeah. <laughs> you already got everything. We, we sitting over here like, hey, man, these some 88s. You can say, I got 12 of them. <laughs> right? It's my favorite. DS. DS. Hey, I was about to say, you better keep those over there. I see you. <laughs> hey, so those um, unloved ones had a question. He wants, he's curious if you have um, both pairs still of the TED Talk ones. I have I have one pair. I don't have both pairs. I only I only bought one pair, and I did get it on eBay. And I I spent twenty six hundred dollars on that shoe. I spent a lot of money. No one gave me that shoe, even though they took my name and made a bunch of money off of it. But no one gave me that shoe. So it is what it is, man. You know, hey, I rung bells somewhere. That's all I can say. So I'm not mad at that. Hey, well, that was a question from the chat that I saw. No worries. Mom, did you I got a couple of yeah, had a couple other questions that I jotted down from the chat. Uh, they wanted to know what do you collect outside of shoes? Oh, outside of shoes. Um, as you can see behind me, I mean it's kind of kind of evident right all up in that area oh, yeah. right there. So Dream Team. Those, those those are number nine jerseys right there, fellas. So yeah, yeah. exactly. Kind of go that way. <laughs> that, that, that part, Ninety-two. That yeah, and you see them all signed by the whole team too. So, but no, I collect, I collect a lot of memorabilia, whether it be sports, whether it be uh, music, uh, I collect a lot of, uh, man, so I collect cleats. I know it's a sneaker, but I do collect a lot of cleats. I collect a lot of signed footballs, a lot of signed baseballs. Um, another thing I'm kind of into that a lot of people probably kind of trip out on is every time I go to the mall. And the wife is like, w why? W why? I, I get, all right, I'll show you. I click these damn things. So, uh oh. <laughs> and they're the tiny ones. Walter. As you see, like, it's the little guys. So every time we go to, I got to go to the mem memorabilia shop and I find these and they're lined all around this place in here. So this is a big thing that I collect too. I got a lot of little weedy foxes. But my main thing that I collect would be cars. Um, I have 11 cars in my driveway, uh, three cars that sit inside my garage from a 1999 Celine all the way to a Ooh. 2017 F-150 Platinum. And I collect nothing but American made cars. So a lot of people are like, oh, you know, he's got all this money. Why don't he have Ferrari? Why don't already had it? Why don't he have Porsche? Already had it. Why don't he have Bentley? Already had it. Why don't he have pretty much any supercar you can name, bro? I've already had it. So no big deal for me. A big deal for them? Not a big deal for me. But I'm not knocking the next guy who has it. That's phenomenal. They're great cars. But I have a Shelby that sits in my garage. Besides a Bugatti Veyron or maybe a GT2 RS could outrun it. 
honestly, I got 1100 horsepower in the car. Ooh, um, it is an eight second quarter mile car. And I do row the gears in that car. So I drive it myself. I have had a lot of very fast cars in my lifetime. Had some seven second quarter mile cars that eight second quarter mile cars all day long. And I used to race in bracket racing in Oklahoma city. So that was a big thing. As you guys can see with the street outlaw stuff that's going on right now. Um, these guys, Asian and Jeff and you know, a lot of these guys, BNR and all these guys that you see on there right now, Justin as big chief, I know all these guys and didn't, didn't race all of them or all that. But the point is I grew up about an age group above them and saw them all coming up into the same, coming into the same places we'd race or, you know, it was pretty cool to watch these kids come up. So collecting cars, man, that's been my arch nemesis right there. Shoes has been a pretty easy thing to obtain because like you said, it just takes money and time in the right connections. But to collect cars, I mean, it's really tough. I have two prototype cars in my driveway that Ford made. So I don't just have, sample shoes i've got sample Damn. cars <laughs> <laughs> and, and I got I'm, like, I'm gonna go I got right a 1969 <laughs> car because i got a 1969 xl2 prototype daytona with a it's got the big block 427 cobra jet all numbers matching it's a beautiful car again never made for the public and then my 2010 shelby gt that car right there is a prototype and it was made for uh, Mr. Shelby himself. So he is, he signed the inside of the car, the whole nine. It is a super snake too. So when you start looking up stuff to research things, they have to be over a thousand horsepower to be called a super snake too. So that's what I do. I collect a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I collect diapers. Hey, hey nothing wrong with that, man. I, I've done that for years too. I've got, all in all, we've got five kids together, so I know all about that. All about oh, that. Only difference, Kenny, is he wears his. That's the only difference. Oh, hey. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Yeah, I didn't say it. That's okay. We've got something coming later. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, man. So, we want to move into pickups? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Pickups. Well, I'll start first. And again. I'm down to nothing. I have not picked up anything this week and probably won't next week. Uh oh. <laughs> you didn't pick anything up this weekend? Or you don't buy anything? No, on, you don't buy anything online anyway. So, yeah. Well, I, I struck out online. So, you know, and, and then Dan didn't think about me like he was supposed to. He was supposed to give me them anniversary ones. Oof. And he forgot about me. But I see him and old uh, <laughs> Jenkins got. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, man. Cause we talked about it. you were supposed to hook me up. We like, did. With the ones. You're supposed to go back to the same store <laughs> that you got yours from. I, I didn't even go to that did. store. I had to go. I, still I, had, to, I had to hit it. I love you too, but I had to I had to do I had to do some, some work to get those. You know? It's okay. I I'll I'll All pay right. resale for them. Kev. Just wait. Just wait for the restock. All right. Um I got I got a few. Um I did pick up the uh LeBron Ashes. Um, I, I can't like I know I, I did a review on these before like on my on my channel and I'm actually gonna do another one on uh, Thursday with the with the actual shoe in hand because I'm gonna play in them on Wednesday but I mean these things feel really comfortable so I'm, I'm confident that these are gonna be um, a good hoop shoe so I might be copping uh, quite a, a bit more of these so if you want to catch 830 on the Buckeye City Soul channel <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> holler at me. <laughs> um, I did. I did go ahead and get these uh, Bordeaux twelves. Um, yeah, I th we all got them. I like those. I, I, I picked those up too. Yeah, man. I, I, I didn't. I didn't get that. I like these. I'm gonna a lot. wait. I'm waiting for my price point. Yeah, I mean, they'll get there. I don't there. think they're gonna sit too long, man. I don't think they're gonna sit too long. If they don't, if they if they get there, then I'll figure it out. You know, I do. Uh, <laughs> But uh, Matter and of fact, I, hold on. I did uh, <laughs> auto cop. I did, I did, I did get uh, I did go back and get these. I think uh, these well drop. Done. These things drop down to like one twenty or something like that. Wait, what? It was like one twenty yeah. or something. I yeah, mean, like one twenty one. So yeah, I sent you out a link. Mikey had a bunch of them that dropped down to one twenty. I sent you out. Oh. I like those. Yeah. So I mean, you know, between those and put those with the with the fours. 
you know, it's a it's a no brainer. And then I picked five Then I picked these Ready? up. Uh, Calvin Bailey uh, from the Kilroy pack. I have. Oh, and then I just I just got another pair that Mike's uh, sending over. Uh, so I have one more pair to get to to have the full set. So I got to get the, right, the actual well Kilroy. Done, so uh, those then are my you guys. those are my pickup. All right, so I'm going next because Maul's got the yeah, go Maul's got the big. Well, I don't yeah. got nothing crazy. He's got All the right. treasure chest. So I got these. Boo, boo, boo. I love these. Marcus oh, wow. got them. I hate you. I got them. Um, so <laughs> this completed my Air Max, you know, broken heart thing, because Air Max day, my my heart got broke with this pair, the fucking red pair, Masters, and the Atmos. Man. I uh, that's for you, Mom. I um, I missed all of those, so mm -hmm. now they're complete. So that's a done deal. Um, and then I picked up these right here, which these are the LeBron Eight China, which oh God, I absolutely love this shoe right that's here. That's a like, top. Huh? You got some explaining yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah. That, that, so this one, this one popped up, and I just I, I snapped it because there's something about the leather toe boxes on the Eight. Like on the V1s, I just love, 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 love. Kind of like, like this pair here. How it has the the leather toe box there. You know, love them. The, what's the size in the uh, the, the China? 11? Hashtag not your size. <laughs> <laughs> not your size. Um. So then I also got these guys right here. Good shoot. Right? Um, which I actually like more than the red pair. I mean, I really think it's because it reminds me of the 111 that I really want that I don't have, and that's the Concord. But yeah. I really like this pair. And then I also got that pair right there. <sighs> my neck! My neck! My neck! Right, my neck. <laughs> so, he always saw. I got, I got hot blood pressure soft today. I yeah. got this pair, and I really... Uh, I really, but I thought I was gonna like this pair more than the navy, but I don't. I like the navy better. It's just a cleaner, a cleaner look, I think. So, well, since you don't like them that much, you know, you, the address. Address. you know the address. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Um, oh, so, oh. on to the next. Is that, is that me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, okay. yeah, you. yeah. I, I was got, going last. I got one, and that is this. That is all. Hey. You can't say that is all. I got one, but nobody really got. What's up? Hey, I'll have them. I'll have them next week. I have them on the 11th. I got one, but... and I'm slowing down for real. Two next week, and I'm. Oh wait, ooh, three. I forgot. I got another 21? one. Twenty-one. <laughs> now, now, Kenny, let me let me let me update Kenny on that. Uh... He, he says he's gonna slow down. We heard this several weeks ago, and the, the week following, he came in with some Tokyo fives. Now, how do you oh. slow down? With a pair of oh, Tokyo fives, is my so down shift, so he's gonna go a little faster. I'm gonna say, Rob, Rob, Rob. Wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. so I, I changed it. I said the caveat was the cap would be no more than five hundred dollars. No, now, that was that was a small asterisk. <laughs> because right, because next week I went over that, but I'm I am taking a break after next week's. <sighs> yeah, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking a break from self control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's like famous last words. Everyone that's ever like I said, I'm gonna take a break, and then I drop like way too much money. So don't say it. Just if you're gonna take a break, just do it. Check it out. Here, let's 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 tell you what. Next week's pickups, I'm taking a break. If y'all see me buy anything else, I will buy one of y'all a pair of shoes. Boom, me. I, I was first. I was first. I take it. We did that already. You owe me a pair of shoes already. You going to look tomorrow? You, you owe me. You're going to look tomorrow. Me. You owe me. I'm done. All Next right. week's picks, that's it for real. Ma, All what right. you got? All, All right. right. So what do I have? A surprising pick up here. All right. Yep. I got hey. Hey. A Bond eight. Okay. Team so Cop. We all so got him. Squad got him now. Mike, you got him? Mike, 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 do you have the entourage eight? Mike, you got to get him now. Oh, man. You got to get up on I that. Can't. Then I have to buy one of y'all pair of shoes. Exactly. Um, You're gonna have to do that anyway. You have to regardless. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick this one up here. So I got the final stack. He, he got a uh, casket for them. <laughs> it came in a casket. Cuba <laughs> door. It came with a Cuban, actually. Um, so that's the finals pack. 
Can't pack here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bam. Black pair. And the white pair. So super excited about that. I don't know what the what the run was on that case, but um, I know that wasn't retail. And then I got my customs. You know, one of one. My black cement. Yeah, them are everywhere. Threes. I've seen them all over the gram. Yeah, yeah everything on the gram. Everybody posted them. So like, look what I got. Though. Those are dope, man. Yeah, those are nice. That's perfect segue to our gap topic that we'll we'll get into later. But yeah, man, I'm really happy about these. I took some quick shots earlier today, um, but I really got to do them justice later on this week. I was rushing, obviously, want to get back in time for the show. Um, and then, last but not least, mm. got a stance package. Hey, so, <laughs> the new stance, the 360 joints. Bam! Shout out to the Stans family. I thought they look. I thought that was draws that you pulled out for a second. <laughs> See, got the draws down. I mean, I got those too, but I, I wasn't really gonna share that with y'all. <laughs> oh, come on, man. They got <laughs> the draws down. Stans got stuff for the ladies now too. They got the intimate joints. I mean, what? one thread at a time. Oh no, wonder Marcus. One thread so, at a time. I'll be wearing them Kunta Kente socks. <laughs> can, can you make sure? They, can you make sure they send Mike some of those women's? Uh, Underwear so he can model them for us. For, no, for you. I don't oh, want to see that. <laughs> Brody and Slip, he's like us. I'm yeah, he's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, we ain't trying to see that, bro. You know, he always modeling his bikinis and stuff. Like. Oh, man. That, that must be what y'all talk about on he the said, side. But... He said, that ain't turtle, yeah, that's ass. That. <laughs> Kenny, hey, did you, you have any pictures this week? <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, I, I picked up a lot of stuff, but it's been over the past few months i kind of let it stack up at a spot i go pick it up um but i'll show you something that i've never shown the world yeah. right. uh, How about give me two seconds cool. Cool. Got it. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk you about it. ourselves everybody, Monday exclusive. everybody hit exclusive. that everybody everybody hit that thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> it's for, flash. It's for flash right there let's just take a whole Put that damn shoe down. Y'all don't, y'all don't get this nowhere else, man. Exclusives. This is yeah. it, baby. Man. Like, we yeah. back. Hey. Oh, yeah. We back. Oh, I'm back. I don't care about my damn GR. Hey. <laughs> All right. You ain't got it. I so, will. It won't be super mass mega quantities. GR. <laughs> mass quantities. So what's up? Do you have these yet? What's Come on, man. Damn. Let, let, let him show us something. I know, man. Oh, my bad. <laughs> what is everybody's favorite Jordan 11? Playoffs. The Concord. Concord. Playoffs. Cool gray is mine. I switch. It's, it's Concord. Ooh. What? Hold on a second. Let me lock in. I'm about to say I'm locking in. Wait a minute. Oh, is that the um CC? Oh man. That was gonna be my uh my Wait. cleat gap. Oh he got the golf joints. Oh what? Oh wow! wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Mess with them. Tiger, Tiger Woods, yo. Oh, got a Concord with the Tiger Woods so wow. It's a size thirteen. So use your imagination if you know. I mean, I could wear a thirteen. That's Jordan's. Wow. That's Jordan's shoe, man. That's Jordan's shoe. <laughs> oh wow! I'll give you yeah. one more. On the bottom, Sorry. right? right? <laughs> that man. TW. That's dope, yes, man. Sir. Oh, two of two of the goats on one shoe. The scene here first. Yeah, I've never. First, I, I, damn, I've had this for a few years now. So, oh, and this on a golf. <laughs> I'd have been I, always, I can't hear Tiger Tiger Woods without Tiger Tiger Woods, y'all. Tiger Tiger, tiger, tiger Woods, tiger, y'all. I can't <laughs> not do it. Um, so, Wait, are we, are we still hello? working? Hello. <laughs> we're in. We're in. <laughs> All right. So, are we ready for the gap? All right. Um, yeah. But, you know, before we get into the gap, the gap is sponsored by our sponsors, Eight and Nine. Uh, make sure you go check them out. The link is in the description. Um, there is a code. Well, we need to get with them because I think the code is going to change. Uh, but uh, without further ado,
Pirate. We're back. Uh, all right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Gap. And so, this week we have customs. We have customs, customs, customs. All right. And so, the way this works is if you're playing at home, gas gets you two points, ass gets you no points, and pass gets you one point. Um, and each person on the panel will vote on the shoe and they'll give it a gas ass or pass along with the comment section, the usual suspects down below. So please participate and join us. Um, and first up we have, who picked uh, PR's pair? That is I. <clears throat> right, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, shout out to PR Sneaks, Word Custom. She did a killer job on these. Between this and another one that I saw, if, if I wore Supreme or Louis Vuitton, any of that stuff, I would actually get these done. She did a killer job on these. I definitely plan to give you a call about some stuff later this week. I can't say anything else about this shoe. It is gas. If y'all ask this, I am dropping off this chat. Oh, so good ass. Ass. See you. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Say bye. Y'all know y'all waiting on that. Waiting y'all on want that. Y'all don't want don't me. Don't try me with a good time. <laughs> Stop. Stop at a All right. So, Kenny, the way this works is just give it a gas ass or pass. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can, can you see it? Are you, I don't think you can see the chat, can you? I can't. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, we'll go around the horn and then let's see if we can shoot it over to him. Yeah, Perfect. that's what I'm working on right now. So, go ahead, Marcus. All right, all right. for me, and y'all know I love Word, even though she's a cowboy fan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These are gas. They, they gas. They they dope. When I first saw this pop up on IG, man, I mean, I you know, word got talent, but I didn't I didn't know she was working like this, you know, for real. And this, I mean, this so it it don't even look like a custom. It looks like something you bought straight out the store. And I I just think it's super dope. So it's it's straight gas for me. All right, there we go. Man. We on good terms right now. Only because it's word. <laughs> if you check your phone, it should be there. Um, Polos, what you got on this? Uh, Polos, um, like, uh, what you got? Uh, I'm gonna gas these for sure. I mean, they're, they're red, um, uh, and then we're, you know, I mean, you know, I, what else can I say? She, I yeah, she I ain't even in here tonight. I think I yeah, need, I think I, I, think Dan, I need was in there, though. That's all okay. Danny in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are, these, these are, I, th I like them. I like the red. Uh, what are, what were the, what's the base? The red suede? I think they are. I think it's I think they are. It's a high. Well, no, because it has the um, the white nipple, the the red suede one. Didn't oh yeah, that's the... all red, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you know it. Hmm. Right. I wonder. I wonder. And that's a high. That's a high. That's a high. Yeah, it's not I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how she did it. Oh, it is. She's. Uh, Danny said it is a red suede, but. Oh, Maybe she I'm painted the, the white. Painted the midsole. White mm -hmm. painted the midsole. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. So it's. Two, let's see, two, four, six. All right, Kenny, do you got the picture now? Are you good to go? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, what's your opinion on this particular pair here? Man, it's gas. This is this straight fire right here. It's crazy. It's hard to believe that that's a custom, to be honest. Right. Yeah. For sure. She killed that one. Love it. Yeah. Right. So, and I'm going to gas this as well, um, but it's also because of the packaging. Like, I'm not even a big fan. Like, I would not wear this pair, but I think this is dope. And Word also did her thing on the packaging as well. I know that's not featured here, but even the box had the the LV Supreme stuff on it. Like she went all out. Um, so this gets a gas for me as well. Yep, and I'll back clean up here. And uh, you know, Word is the homie. This is this is a straight gas. She did her thing, like you said. This he about this to win week. three weeks in a row. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, we, we'll get a tie right. and then boot him. Yeah. And y'all, y'all, y'all go check out, y'all go check out where she's a user suspect, always in the chat with us. Y'all go check her out on Except IG. Tonight, come on, <laughs> spend, spend a little money with us. She, she makes some dope customs. So, yeah, she do. Check it out. All uh, right, the the usual suspects gave that shoe a gas as well. So next up, Mike, you walk away with a total of fourteen points. That's a perfect score. Well played, sir. Well perfect. played. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So next up, we got Buck. I said it's sold. Kev, what you got? Uh, we got the Aqua Sixes done by uh, Nard. Nard got souls. It's uh, a homie. He, you know, he checks us out too. Uh, I just thought it was a, a super clean 
colorway. I mean, it, it takes me back. I mean, I, I love the eight, but I think that these actually are a little bit even more wearable because I mean, the straps sometimes are a little tough to rock with, uh, with jeans, but I think that these would be perfect. I mean, I wish that they would have had this colorway when, you know, when they first did come out. Um, I definitely would have picked those up right after the, you know, the fives had the aqua or the, the um, grapes. And then you roll into this, that I think it would have segued really well. Um, so I'm going to gas them. All right. Uh, Kenny, I know you can't see, so I'm working on texting you all of the pictures here. Um, and so for me, these are dope. Uh, it looks like they use a black IR. And then aqua is always the aqua. Aqua 8s are my favorite um, shoe ever, like period. Like if they're, my house is burning down, that's the pair I would grab as my aqua 8. So... <laughs> That's, um, that's dumb. That's dumb. I, don't, you know, I don't believe you. That's dumb. Well, that's red dumb. That's red dumb. Well, y'all can, y'all can all. I, I got this. The only pair I got two pair of, and y'all can eat my ass. I'm gonna grab both pairs. Oh, here we go. Get him at the <laughs> that's not the only pair I'm grabbing. Gas. Ma, what you got? Uh, I'm a gas seize. I'm a big fan of the colorway, um, the black grape, the aqua, whatever you want to call it. He did his thing on this pair. Yeah, and for me, it's a gas. I mean, I, you know, it's. It's another shoe that does not look like a customer. It looks like something you bought out the store. I mean, Nord does great work. It's the H Town homie. So yeah, gas. All right. Yes. And it's so it's I'll give it a gas. Hold up, I ain't no. I'm a gas set too though. All right. <laughs> I'm give it a gas. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Kenny, you should you got that one now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, this is phenomenal. Definitely gas. This is ridiculous. Again, ridiculous paint. You can hardly even tell he touched the shoe. So, yeah, phenomenal. Good, that's good work. Yeah. All right, and uh, the comment section gave it a gas as well. The usual suspect. So that one we got two fourteen. So two, we got a perfect pair. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> All right, so next up we have, I don't think I have the picture on. No, you don't um, have it. Yeah, hold on. Here, like this one was pure email, but it's cool. As soon as it pops up, I will shoot it to you. And, and you and you get it the way that it uh, gets sent to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Um, <laughs> it must be a bad looking pick. All right, so who's <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's up? I can't see that. Uh, um, you don't see it? No. Man. I see it. So this, Hit live this on your Astros thing. The Astros 11. The Astros 11. Oh, y'all clowning my shoe? 11. That was me, okay. man. Y'all clowning my right, shoe? Well, you're right. <laughs> no, we're not clowning your shoe. We're just clowning the fact that you didn't crop it or anything. Nothing. Okay, just... I'll leave that to you. Why you can't crop it, man? Come man, on. Man, if I have you send it to me, I just want to I just want to be able to upload it and plug it in, man. I'm not trying to do man, everything. Man. You can just crop it at least. The hell yeah. Damn. The hell Ooh, I see a lot of Pat. I see anyway, a train of I, ain't, I ain't even thinking about the chat. Y'all know I don't like the usual suspects anyway. So Damn, man, everybody. Like I've never seen so many passes. It, I, can I talk about my shoe? Steve can Nash. I talk about my shoe? Please, All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Another shoe by Nora Gasso. Y'all can hate on this all y'all want. This, I'm not going to hate. To me. This shoe is dope to me. You know, it's, it's for Jose Altuve. You know, Houston Astros, who right now about to win the World Series tomorrow night on y'all. Ouch. And, yeah, Kenny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think, but I'm a New York guy, so it's all right. No oh, okay, worries. Well, well, we already beat them. I know. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'm taking that. I'll, take, I'll hold that out. I'll hold that out. Don't, wor don't worry, because uh... – Go ahead, go ahead, Marcus. Keep talking. <laughs> but but on the on the on the for real, I mean, Nora had a lot of shoes to choose from, and I mean, of course, right now with with my boys in the World Series, I went with this. I think this is a dope shoe, regardless of what y'all say. You know, Nora making shoes for Paul Wall and baseball players and football oh, players and yeah. the whole nine. That's, that's talent right there, you know. And the way he got that patent leather set off like that with that 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 Galaxy type stuff on it, man, that's fire. So, okay, what y'all think about a straight gas? Playing cast, you know, it's H Town got to stick together. All right, uh, <laughs> all right, um, all right. I I'm I'm going to pass it. I think it I think it would have been doper, more dope without all like the galaxy. I like I like it better with if it just had the the patent leather with the orange. I think the patent leather with the orange, like a blue patent leather with the orange, would have been dope. Or even if you put the strows on there, like he's got it on there, I think it would have been dope. I just think that it's a little bit too busy for me. 
you know, to, to rock. How, how a dude that can barely match his shoes to his clothes going to talk about what color coordination Damn. should have been put on here? Really? I'm right, sorry, man. We're, we're, we're all, we're okay, all, cool. We're all not, um, you know, uh, Derelict. I have, <laughs> Zoolander. I have a whole lot of respect for Nard and what he does. Uh, but this shoe is mad ass, yo. <laughs> I, 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 it's your <laughs> and I, I, I have all the respect in the world for him and what he does. That pair of grape sixes that he did or aqua sixes are clean. I've seen a lot of his work. And I'm sure someone is very, very happy with this shoe. I don't yes. like this shoe. I don't like this In the shoe. bathroom. Okay. That's as far as I'm going to go. I don't, I don't like it. So it's, it's an ass for me. Ma, what you got? Um, even though, uh, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> even though you try to throw the jab in with the Yankees, this pair is pretty dope. I actually pulled it up on my phone just so I could zoom in and see all the little intricate details, and I appreciate, you know, that the souls alone in the dark. That's you know going to kind of tip me over. I was going to pass it just out of spite, but I'll gas it because that's the homie, and these pair are pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, you got to You can't look at it going by this. Go look at it on IG and then come back and tell me you're gonna ass it. I mean, because that patent leather is dope. I don't. I definitely. Don't, I don't think that it's an ass shoe at all. Oh. I just think that it's just. I think it's too busy. Like I think that busy. The artwork is clean. The everything is clean. The paint's clean. But for me, it's just an ass shoe. It's orange and galaxy. It's weird. Well, you know, your favorite shoe is Aqua. Your favorite shoe is Aqua Eight. So <laughs> your mama likes when I wear that shoe. So yeah, yeah, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. Mike, what you got on this? <laughs> you know, you're not killing me, man. Um, you know, I, here's one thing I got to respect. I got to, I'm a, I'm a gassies, and I'm, I got to respect all the work that went into onto that patent leather. I think, like you said, I, I need to get on IG and see a, get a better look at it. I, I've seen it before, um, but just, just to put that kind of that level of detail onto the patent leather, not the leather, the patent leather. Um, for that, I, I got to give them a gas. You know, alone for the effort, if anything. So I'm a gas these. Well, the secret is you've got All to right. coordinate. Uh -huh. Most people don't gonna come coordinate. Back. Gonna so you got to coordinate. All right. Kenny, what you got? Hmm, I'm not a fan of orange, but again, looking at it on Instagram, not the photo that was just you know screenshot. I gotta say it's clean, man. It's a clean pair. Um, I like the fact that they actually used a pair that has a leather upper. Um, as opposed to a canvas upper. Um, I don't know exactly which shoe this is, to be honest with you. I can't tell. I'm not that dude, but... It's a legend. It's, it's a it's legend. A legend. It, is, it is a legend? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, for sure. I'm with it, but I'm not a Strohs fan, so I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, That's okay. That's okay. It, it's, ga it's gas for me. I like it. I like it. Right. But people need to go look at his brand before they make a decision off of the screenshot. Right, Exactly. Yeah. Right. And I, I will say that there is that hang tag is a dope, dope touch. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, the work that went into it, all the galaxy things, I mean, I've seen the picture. I like the picture. <laughs> uh, I, love, I just, for me, I just would never buy this shoe. It's not even a pass. I just don't like it. I would no, actually, no. I would take no, his, Houston, his Houston no. Oilers is even better than that, though. I mean, yeah, his Houston Oilers was dope. But go, go, just go check out his page. I mean, the dude turned his jump man into, I'm not talking to you. He turns a jump in into JJ Watt and to Dez Bryant. You know what I'm saying? He puts their little jersey on him with number and put they I mean, that's dope, man. That that's the dude does some phenomenal work. Uh in the comments, uh, the usual suspects gave it a pass. So Marcus, you're walking away with a twelve. All right. Next up, my kids are going rowdy upstairs. They're about to catch the belt. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll be they messed up. <laughs> oh no. I wish I miss I, Thanks, Q to Queen. Hey, <laughs> hey, Q to Queen. Hey, just while we're waiting for the shoe to come up, you know, I, I said I wasn't going to say nothing, but I got to say something. Uh, oh, no. Here we go. Big Brother had to take care. Oh, you know, y'all couldn't put away the Penn State. You know, we had to come out and do our thing. You know, Ohio State, we take care of you. Now we're going to take care of y'all in November. So see you then. <laughs> yeah, take that, Q. Take that, take that, take that. Listen, I don't know, I don't know if I want that on video, <laughs> video evidence. Oh, All right. a long so bad this one. pair here is, um, I'm pretty sure it's a, a, it looks like a JBF custom, but I'm not 100% sure where it came from. Um, 
Kenny, this is your pair? Relevant yes, Customs. Relevant. Relevant? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's talk, tell, tell us what you got. Uh, Relevant Customs. We got a reverse Brooklyn Zoo right there. Uh, one of ten in the world. Um, I believe Soli Ghost came up with the idea of the first Brooklyn Zoos. And then he, they came up with the idea for the reverse. I was in line to get the reverse, obviously. My number being number seven, my favorite. That's the number they put on the inside of the shoe. And that's in gold, 24 karat gold. And then on the other side, which would be the right side, it says perfect pair. And then when you go into the inside, no disrespect to JBF or any of those companies that are doing phenomenal sneakers. But I, whenever I, when I look at work like this, the first thing I do is without a sock, with nothing on, I put my hand inside these sneakers to see what you can actually feel the work that's been done. And if it's done correctly, it'll be a phenomenal sneaker. You can feel it from the jump. Um, if the work is kind of shoddy and just kind of thrown together, uh, basically a layover, then to me, uh, you feel how rough it is. It's tough on your feet. Whenever I wear this reverse Brooklyn Zoo, because it's made out of a lot of exotic actual skins, and I'm not going to get into all that because Peter could be watching. So <laughs> not... <laughs> but for... <laughs> What's my question? <laughs> point, point is, it's made with a lot of phenomenal materials. The idea behind the whole sneaker and then the way that they reconstruct the whole shoe. There's no layover. Every piece you see, every panel you see of that shoe has been completely redone. There's no repainting None of that stuff. So that on the shoe, I'm not gonna tell anybody what I paid. So if they want them, they still cost $10,000. But point is, I think it's one of the, all of that. I think these are dope. I I, I, I would definitely rock a pair like this. And y'all know how I am about my luxury shoes. And this would fit into that category of Balenciagas and things like that, that you can wear and dress it up. I would definitely rock these. So these, these are gas. Dope. All right. Kev, what you got? Uh, I, I definitely gassed these. I was actually looking at, um, I think it was a shoe surgeon that was doing some of these too. Um, yep. When we were, yep. uh, when we were like, when I was kind of researching things, but I wanted to uh, show Nard some love. But these are definitely a gas. Um, I mean, just the, the color variations and then with the different, um, the different animals in the same color. I mean, I think that that's crazy. I would, I would be dope to just see an all red one with all different animals you know, making up the, the different tones. Um, but yeah, these are, these are gas. Okay. Um, so these are a pass for me. Um, I love red. I love, I do. I really like red, but all of the animals, all of them, <laughs> I mean, they're super dope. It's just, it's, it's just a little, probably a little over my, over my head like i'm just not that classy like there's never a point when i'm gonna be like kids get your ass upstairs watch out well, for my the alligators is, you got to coordinate like, uh -huh. I, 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 most people don't coordinate, so you gotta coordinate. Hey, that's really that's what what... for me like i'm just not i'm just too trailer park for this shoe so i'm just gonna it's a pass for me you know <laughs> um but still dope just a pass <laughs> let's see two four six i'm seven who next okay <laughs> oh my god i mean this this is like double gas so I, I i might have to gas them for you here dan you would pull these off if these actually came out you'd be the one like stressing like mario you gotta give me a pair like, <laughs> you gotta yeah. like, let me know i need these like these are ones like you got like there's so much that goes into it and, and like kenny was talking about you know when you get a custom a good custom you know we really appreciate it. Obviously, I can't feel these. I would, I would love to. Maybe next time we're in Cali, um, <laughs> <laughs> by myself. Um, no, nah, these, these are, these are sick, man. The red with the gray, and then the laces, the way they pop. The buckeye colors. I mean, come on. Oh lord, here I we went go. that far, but uh, I still like nah, them. I got gas. <laughs> they, they triple gas, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna catch hell. Like I'm, like everybody's talking about the trailers, but like literally, I'm, like I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, they're dope. Hashtag trailer boy, trailer park boy. It's a two. Four. Hey, it's it's all right. It's all right. So some people, some people like, yeah, some people like champagne. It's all right. 
It's all yeah, right. I, I can't drink champagne now. I, right. I, I, drink, I drink that bottom shelf liquor when I used to drink. Yeah, yeah like it's, it's, it's got the dust on the bottle. Like, that's what I drink. <laughs> uh, drink that mountain uh, liquor. <laughs> Cut 45. Oh, uh, for me, it's a gas. I think the the one thing you touched on are the different, uh, I think the different textures for, uh, I guess, you know, the different animals, the fact that it's all red, different textures. Without feeling it, just looking at the pictures, you got like a visual of how the shoe would feel. So for, for me, and, and, I, and again, I like red as well, kind of like Kev. Um, but for me, it's a gas. I like, I like these. I definitely like them. Uh, and the comment section gave it a gas as well. Um, that's it. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Put it up. What is going on? I don't know. It's been, yeah, you're good. Okay. So let me, I'm re up in here and have to go to the thing. So um, this one is my shoe. It's the, I'm not sure what the base shoe was. It's all leather. And, and I can take it or leave it. Maul, what you got? Oh, man. Why you got to go to me first, dog? Um, <laughs> I do like the back tab, but that's all I like. And, and the midsole. For me, it, it just lacks uh, a little bit more color, and but I guess that's kind of how the Aqua 8s are in general. But um, for me, it's a pass. Dope. It has a tongue too, which I, I should have put that on there. So it has that Aqua 8 tongue. The, the circle the, it looks like the carpet that's on it. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's on there. But I didn't put that in the picture, so man. Um, <laughs> Mike, what you got? Uh, <clears throat> for me, it's a it's a pass. Um, I'm a shoe racist, and we already established. <laughs> what? It's a little too much black for me. I think maybe. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, you went to a, a historically black university too. I mean, I'm being honest. <laughs> if we busted up with some different laces, it might have it might have got a gas for me. It needs, it needs a little bit more pop. Yeah, just, right. I'm just I like it's a little something. something. Pops, yeah, that, that's. Yeah. But I like the back. I mean, it's got a nice ass, but I'm a just pass. Oh, by the way, these were done by DAP, D-A-P-P -P Customs. So shout out to him. I've, I'm, I'm meant to put that out there. Everybody, I'm trying to put their customs out there, you know, so DAP Customs. Yeah, all right. So there's a pass for you. Uh, Kenny, what you got? Hmm. <laughs> 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 well, the big payback. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, for me on this one here, I'm gonna be honest. This is just real honest talk. I can't lie. No disrespect to DAP Customs or whoever DAP is, but it's very simple to tape a shoe and paint it, um, and that's all I see here. Now I do see a little bit of change on the tongue, which is dope, but there's very little creativity going on right here, and that's just my opinion. It's not ass, but it's a pass. It's all there, oh, black and white, white, clear oh, as crystal. You get nothing. Right. You lose. <laughs> Good day, <laughs> sir. Hey, hey, hey. Now, if uh, we, had, Marcus, to, Marcus, if we had to judge his 11 off that one screenshot, he'd be asked out. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> hey, he sent, he sent the picture. Exactly. What you sent is what you get. <laughs> you, get you get nothing. <laughs> And uh, and on that note, it's my <laughs> turn. No, hold up. Yeah. Oh yeah, go oh, ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me go. Do, does does Dap watch this show? No. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. uh, if I ever meet Dap, hold up. Hold up. They won't get no Dap from me because uh, <laughs> this is ass. Really? I mean, yeah, for real. I mean, honestly, this looked like something that I could have done, and I ain't never did a custom ever in my life. I'm. It's just like. I mean, for real, for real, it's it's ass. It just looks unfinished. That's all. It, yeah, that it looks it looks unstarted. I was I mean, about to say unstarted. I don't know about it. <laughs> this shit is unstarted. I mean, for real. I'm sorry, Dap, if you watch the show. You know, I appreciate you for all your support. Uh, but let's not do this again. Let's <laughs> Sometimes less different. is more. Sometimes less is more. Uh, Kevin, what you uh, got? Not this time. All right. I mean, I'm a I'm a I'm a Forest fan. Uh, so. I'm gonna gas this, but it does what? need it. It does it does need a little bit more to it. Uh, I mean, I would I would buy I would buy these if they were at the store and not wear them. So I'm gonna gas them. But it like I think that they need to um, like the lace couplers. They need to they need to 
the wings. They need to do something with them up top. Cause they it needs like, some paint you, thinner. Cause it, it I mean, it, it looks like a referee shoe if you don't see the back of it. Um, <laughs> right. So, the, but the back is sick, though. I mean, to me. It's not. It's a butterface. To, to me, it is. It's not. It's a chick with a big old booty with a fucked up face. <laughs> no, um, no, no, it's good. I like it. So, all right. And so the, the, the <laughs> comment section gave me a pass. So I walk away with 10. Boom. All right. So next up, we have uh, Molly Ma's pair, right? Mm. Yes, sir. All right. So it should be everybody, right? No, Mike. Oh, no, Mike is. Yep. Mike went first. So you should have this. I'm waiting for it to come up now. It came so, up, so. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. <laughs> when, I, when I sent you the email, Kev, I already yeah, knew. I know. Was, <laughs> but it's all right. I got to shoot today, but don't worry. We got plenty more gaps. Um, but this is but you know. Man. But hold up. I can't. I, I mean, like, I can't. Oh, get over it. <laughs> no, it's not even the fact that it's that it's Kyrie yeah, anymore though. I mean, like I don't right. like the three though. Get the hell out of here, bro. That shit, this shit is super dope. So, like I was saying, this is done by my man Andrew TL, um, my same dude. I just lost my shoe. Um, that did my black cement threes. I would gas those. I was gonna do that, but I thought it was kind of corny for me having in person. You should. Um, the level of detail is incredible. You can see he's got Kyrie's face on the joint. This is the insole for the pair that I have. Uh, so that's the Kyrie with the jump man, similar to the Mamba mentality, the Kyrie with the Kobe. Um, the, th- the swoosh has 3M with clovers. Like, it's ridiculously done. The toe box has got a, like a green camo print. And on the medial side, it's got the same clover um, design on, on, that, on that medial swoosh. So he kills it. If you're in the market, definitely hit my dude up. Uh, he's A1. Mom, you had, did you have something with like an aerial view to see the top of it? I'm trying yeah, to, I want to see the toe box. box. Right. That's making it tough for me to gun a pass or gas. I want to see that toe box. Because right now, it's green camouflage, green camouflage. Yeah, it's green camouflage. What you got, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Michael. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got time for all that. What you got? Base your mouth. Michael based Evans. This, I'm going to pass it. I, I still need to see the toe box. I like the hey, you face on the insole. Um, I like the clovers and the swoosh. I need to see that toe box, though. Oh, I no, need... baby. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's, it's just a pass. But it, yeah. All right, Kenny, what you got on this pair here? Oh, it's gas. It's phenomenal. I like it. It's got a whole little theme going to it. It's I original. Like it. That's the thing I like the no, most. I like it. It's different. It's phenomenal. It's a good shoe. I wouldn't... I don't wear a lot of Kyrie's. I might have two or three pair, but I like it. It's done well. All right. And um, <clears throat> Marcus. There you go, Mike. Uh, I'm going to have to pass it. Ah. I don't, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not, I don't have anything to say about it. I'm just going to pass it. I mean, <laughs> it's all right. I mean, go it's back. Okay. Go back. I mean, the, the insole looks like Richard Pryor on it, but besides that, it's <laughs> <laughs> He said, he said yeah. it looked like Earl Matagot on there. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Proper, which way is up? Oh, snap. Oh, my piece of chicken. <laughs> I'm going to change mine. I'm going to gas it just based off of the better pictures. That That's All what right. you should have sent in, man. Send that in next time. I don't the care. Right. The, uh, the info. I thought that was a dope touch. I, I like that, but, I mean, you're not going to see it because my feet are going to be on his face. This is what I'm seeing when I'm walking out. So I'm going to gas that based on the new pictures. Can't change All right. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't change, homie. Oh, okay, Don. <laughs> Sorry, Molly. You've already, you've already, you've already done I wasn't the going in no way, but there's a tiebreaker vote. Just know that. Just know what you got. In the future, all right, all right. I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta stay true to Uh-oh. what I say about. I mean, and it's not even about Kyrie leaving to go on, to, to, to 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 Celtics Kevin. or whatever. But I don't like the three, man. I don't like the back of the shoe. Period. The, like it. I don't like the, the the silhouette. That's the problem. I mean, I the, the crazy thing is I do like your uh, I like your uh cement. That's probably the only Kyrie that I would grab. 
Honestly, you yeah. should have put those up. I got those up. I honestly would have. I honestly would have gassed those. That'd have been the Me only too. one because that's the only one I was like, damn. I've seen them all over the place and I liked them. These ones I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the um that that type of camo. It was like you know that camo where everybody like Method Man had the yellow camo back in Belly. The reason I chose these over the ones that I actually have made. This is an original piece, and I feel like if you're gonna get a custom. We're doing a custom competition. It should be someone's original work. So it's. The, I mean, did, that's not. That didn't come out. What do you mean? That shoe didn't right, like. So Kev, what's your actual? Oh, he's gonna pass on. Him. I'm passing on. Oh, he passed. He passed on. Okay. So I think these are these are gas. Like I love the little clovers on the check. I like the the face on the insole. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure what kind of face he's making right there. It kind of looks like he's blowing a kiss. It's like JaVel so McGee. Strange. <laughs> you know, like why you puckered up, but the rest of it's really cool. Like it's a gas. I'll rock it. I'd buy it. You can't say anything bad so, about it. Cause Kyrie would tell you the SSD. <laughs> 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 so the, the, cat gave it, the cat gave it a pass. So we are looking at a grand total of 10 for Maul. So that's a 14 and a 14. So that is the, what we have is a tie between the, um, what you call it? The um, words and Nard. So we have the grape sixes or the aqua sixes and the, um, the Louis Vuitton Supreme ones. So, Gentlemen of the panel, pick one. Ma, go. Repeat. <laughs> That's why that nigga wanted to change it. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. So boom. That's, 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 the, that's the score for Mike. Not you, Mike. You don't get to vote. Kenny, which one? <laughs> yeah, the one or the six? I'll go with the six. Boom. The six it is. Just because I'm not a hype beast. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. Somebody kill his feed quick. <laughs> <laughs> um Marcus. I'm going to lurk. Oh man. I would actually like those. Alright. And I have to go with the sixes as well. So we're at this tie break thing. So oh, I'm going to try to. I see a lot here. of sixes. I see a lot yeah, of sixes. Chat, the, chat thing, the chat thing gave it the six. The, the six. The six. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go with I the six. I love, I love word. I love you, girl. But, you know, I, I'm. He got hoodwinked. Word, if yeah. you're watching this. Anybody who uh, does it's, it's Aqua. It's, it's, aqua. It's, it's Florida, dog. We got to revote. I have to go with the Aqua. <laughs> Perfect. Um, banging on my chest. All right. <laughs> so, so Lord's going to get blocked. Like, that's what's going to happen. He's going to be like, you cannot post right now. Um, so, uh, congratulations to Kev. Boo. Thank you for everybody who participated. And, yo, Kev, you're up for next week. So, there you go, Kev, right there. Right. Hey man, you can't win all of them. Damn. I hey, listen. I go ahead. You got Rob. Let's get into the topic. It's nine thirty. There you go. <laughs> We're in the topics. <laughs> all right. Who's topic first? What do we uh, want to get into? Do we want to go? Uh, do we want to talk about the uh, dissension? We want to go to the culture, baby. We got we got Kenny with us we got a grand opportunity you know all right uh something for the culture all for the game all right well, we're going to talk about basically the divide in the uh, sneaker community uh people want you know to be exclusive but they want conformity uh when someone isn't following a certain person's lane or whatever then you know things become corny and, and, and things like that um i mean isn't it better that we have diversity where you know people like different things and it and it basically goes into new creations when we have a wider uh range um you know i just kind of want to throw that out there and i'll put my words on it a little bit more down the road but i want to kind of open it up to the crew 
right. Yeah, y'all know how I feel about a lot of this. I mean, you know, what's what's corny? What what's considered corny? I don't I don't consider anything corny. I mean, if you post it and you feel passionate about it, that's your thing. It's it's not going to be corny to me. I mean, because a lot of people think that us being in the shoes, having this many pair of shoes is corny. Right. You know, people outside of our culture. I think what we do is corny. They think it's, it's, you know, it's silly and, you know, childish and whatever, you know, and I just don't look at it that way. Anything that you love and you're passionate about, however you express it, that's on you. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, I mean, people take shots at certain YouTubers who do certain things and that's them. My, my whole outlook and opinion about it is don't look at it. If, if it bothers you, if you don't, you know, care about what they're doing, don't look at it. It's just like television. You know, you've got several stations. I mean, you've got millions of YouTube channels that you can go and look at. Don't watch it. You know, it's nobody's making you look at it. If you see something on Instagram and you think it's corny, just keep scrolling. You know, it's what what good does it do to come out and say, oh, this is corny, this is childish. You don't know how that may affect the person who actually posted. I mean, a lot of the stuff is being posted by kids. You know, a lot of these things are being done by kids. And if they love it and they enjoy what they're doing, let them do it, you know? And maybe one day they'll look down the line and say, hey, man, what I did, like, you know, 10 years ago was corny. I mean, hell, I look at shit that I did, hell, three years ago, and I think it's corny, you know? But that's for me to judge, not the next man. And that's that's how I feel about it. There's nothing corny that you're doing if you're passionate about it. If me laying out some sneakers or doing whatever with my kicks, taking pictures. I mean, Kenny, you take pictures all the time with your kicks. Some people think that's corny. Okay. I don't. I think it's great. I love it. I, you know, and it, it just shows something that you're passionate about, something that you enjoy. It's keeping the kids out of trouble. I mean, when I was growing up, I didn't have this. So I was in the streets. I was doing stuff I didn't, I shouldn't have been doing. Had I had this culture back then when I was growing up, I wouldn't have been doing some of the things I was doing. I would have stayed out of trouble. I wouldn't have, you know, been harming anybody else. I would have had something to do to put my passion towards. He wouldn't have been still on stage so, coaches. Right, you know, I mean, I wouldn't have been, been, been robbing trains and stuff like that, you know. I mean, still on horses. But, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't have to deputy after me all the time. You know what I'm saying? It'd have been him and Django you know? just out there riding around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, riding on our horses with our, with our uh, Jordan 3s on, deep, man. Deep you know? Royals. Right, exactly. I agree with you, Mark. But no, I mean, for real, that's, that's, that's just how I feel about it, you know, so... I mean, that's me. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever you're doing, you know, we may not agree with it, but if it's not harming, if it's not harming us, then who am I to hate on that? I mean, at the end of the day, you're doing what you're doing that's putting you in the position to do whatever it is that you're trying to get to, whether you're making money off of it, you're enjoying it, you're, you know, building relationships. I mean, that's fine. I mean, like you said, I mean, there are things that I look at now that I do that are corny, but at the end of the day, I'm going to do them because I'm happy with what I'm doing, you know, I commend those people who get talked about as being corny for doing what they're doing, because at the end of the day, those are people who are leaders, right? They're not conforming to what other people are doing. And, and that's more of what I'm looking for or what I want to be, right? I'm going to do what I'm doing, whether you call it corny. Some things that I see out there that I don't necessarily, you know, agree with. Um, there are some things that I would definitely categorize as corny. Um, and I just keep it moving. You know, that's my opinion. If I see something, I don't like it. It is what it is. I'm not going to attack or, um, you know, oh, you know, this is super corny. Let me attack this person. It's like we're all kind of trial and error, I guess, with something that we like. So at the end of the day, we are, we are all still, for the most part, like-minded individuals, and I'll respect that, but I don't necessarily have to agree with it all. But see, that's the thing, though. Know, every, every culture has what some may consider corny, or it wouldn't be a culture. I mean, like hip-hop music. You know, they got the new mumble rap, which, you know, the older generation, they don't listen to it. They think it's corny. They think it's cheesy or whatever. But the kids love it. Every culture out there has something that everybody's not going to love. That's what makes it a culture. And then we can't all love the same thing. And in, in the chat here, um, you got Soul Lord. Um, he said, you know, why is it, you know, considered hating? Uh, why is uh, constructive criticism, you know, considered hating? I think there's a difference between constructive cu criticism and, and hating. Um, and a lot of times people think that they're being constructive, but they're trying to generate laughs or, you know, it, it comes from a different place and trying to help them, trying to help the other person. So here's person. my thing. If, if it's constructive criticism, then you'll probably text message me and or DM me. Right, right. 
if it's something that's spiteful or hateful, you're probably going to drop a comment and, and look to kind of get a reaction. And typically you won't get that from me. If I feel like you're being offensive to me or someone who might see it, I'll just erase it or block you and I'll keep it moving. I'm not going to take time out of my day. I'm not going to take energy, um, you know, from, from what I got going on in my life to, to address something that's completely negative, derogatory, something that's, that's hateful, uh, racist, whatever the case may be. Right. Kenny, man, what do you, what do you think about this? It's tough, man. Corny. That's a, that's a loosely used word nowadays. You know, you get a lot of people who, who get in their feelings, these old guys who get in their feelings and they, it's corny, you Mm -hmm. know, but as, as expressed earlier, it's, you know, by almost everyone talking about it, it's, you know, that's someone's feelings that you're talking about that that's someone's, you know, hard work that they thought they were doing, you know, and when you go being like constructive criticism is one thing, like, you know, my Molly kind of hit it with the whole, you'll hit me on my phone or you'll DM me with a, a backward way, not a front door, right. trying to put me on front street. And, you know, I've, uh, I've been a victim of, of a lot of this stuff. So I know what it's about firsthand. You know, I've been called everything under the book, corny, all that. So it's, I still keep it moving. I don't allow those people to affect what I'm doing. Um, and I'll say this too, when you get to that level of being able to, uh, have people have, like I said, emotional feelings like that, real emotional feelings, you're actually winning. Uh, you're not losing whatsoever. And a lot of people think that they're, oh man, he thinks this way about me. I'm losing. Well, nah, if you, if he, if he, if you got into that man's mind or that woman's mind that way, in order for them to come out publicly and have to say something to you, then to me, you already won. You know, that's my thing. So is it corny to win? Nah. <laughs> is, it, is it corny to to do the same thing repetitively over and over to try to get people to look at you? I mean, uh, it, it can be viewed that way. But if it puts a smile on your face, you want to post 50 shots of the same shoe every single day splashing water tippy toes whatever you choose to do and it puts a smile on your face i'm all for it post 150 of them That's all. <laughs> exactly i can't like yeah. them all but i might get them and all. i mean <laughs> i think that when people start um fearing you know that they're being corny i think that we stunt creativity because no one wants to go out there on a limb because they're afraid of you know getting persecuted by everybody else so that uh that affects you know what happens as far as with the culture because nobody wants to do that i mean we had uh jack cousteau on here and we talked about him doing the b thing and i know a lot of people have been like oh man that's corny but jack is one of the most successful people in his place because he kept doing it and he wasn't afraid to try to do things um, that were outside of the box. And I think if you stay in the box and you're not going to go anywhere anybody else is, you know? So right. if you're able to stay out, then you stand out. Correct. Jock did it his own way too. You know, Cousteau, he, uh, he didn't, like you said, he didn't conform. Mm-hmm. He stayed in his own lane, kept pressing forward, kept pressing forward. And he's seeing the benefits of all those, you know, light, late nights, hard work, a lot of editing, a lot of stuff that he was doing that wasn't getting, viewed or even liked or feel pushing it to the side now it's it's in everyone's face so right. it's one of those things where you're not 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 winning but you know you're you're definitely doing well right so there's nothing wrong with that i think it's it's somebody's always got to have something to talk about you know there's always going to be those people who have something negative to say um and that's fine that's cool that's their that's their drill that's their thing that's what they're going to do and i'm cool with that you know, just as long as you keep it away from me, like there's, <clears throat> I try really hard to go out of my way to ensure that I don't say anything negative about people. You know, I, I may say it to like a, a chosen few who <laughs> I will talk to and they will calm me down and they're like, yo, you really don't need to have that opinion in public. And I'm like, okay, cool. I won't do that. You know, but I mean, there's always like anytime you have thousands of people doing one thing, there's going to be multiple lines of thought that some are going to think it's corny some are going to think it's not some are going to think you know th- there's always going to be like music like my dad doesn't like my music i don't like my kids music i'm sure my dad my pops is pop 
you know, thinks his music is was the devil's music, or whatever that is, you know. You know, it's, there's never going to be a 100% consensus on anything. Not everyone's going to like everything, and that's perfectly cool. And I think what it does is it pushes the culture in either one way or the other. Like a lot of the kids that only wear Adidas that are now switching to Vans, they care more about fashion. They care more about, like, what they're wearing than what's on their feet. Again, I will rock some Old Navy shorts and a fucking hoodie and feel good about myself with some dope kicks on my feet. Like, I don't need you know, Supreme Louis Vuitton jeans. I just, I just don't need it, you know? And so for me, it's fine. You know, it's it, do what you do, man. Like as long as you're enjoying it, who cares? You know, I enjoy doing my little pics or whatever. I enjoy um, sitting here and talking about kicks with you guys. You know, it's, it's my thing and I don't expect everyone to love it and they don't have to. And I'll give them the thumbs up and keep it moving. You know, and that's kind of, that's how I feel about it. There's always going to be a divisive nature everywhere. Um, so, you know, that's that. Um, do we want to talk about uh, the Dornbecker thing? Let's get hashtag hero in. Huh? Do you want to go ha- straight up to hashtag or do you want to get into Dornbecker? Yeah, let's go with Dornbecker real quick. Let's just go through yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a hot topic. It's a hot topic yeah. right now. Yeah. So do, you, do you have all the, the pictures for it, Kev? I do not. Okay, so there was a, I'm sure everybody's seen them, you know, there was uh, a bunch of releases this year, and I love, love, love the the Dornbecker program, I love what they do, Um, the fact that they made three KDs, and one for him, and one for the little girl, and then one to be auctioned off, that pulled $35,000, I think the red um, of tempo that came out. There we go. The right up tempo that came out for fifty thousand um, dollars. You know, I, I think it's amazing the things that they do. There we go. And, and that's something else I really wanted to look at was each of the kids, um, you know, and what they did. So you know, this kid pulled out. Um, you know, he got the the Stefan Janowski, which some people would argue that this shoe needs to be pulled from the line, but I mean, maybe it's along with the Vans thing, the Vans theme. I think is dope. Um, but the detail they go into it and where the money goes and all that stuff, I think it's an amazing program. And it's one of those like redeeming qualities by Nike. You know, it really lends, you know, a lot of credit that Nike does this. And I, I thoroughly love it. Uh, thought I have to go quiet some children. I will be back. <laughs> well, Molly, go ahead, man. You got, you got the floor. Yeah, man. So this one here is the Vapor Max Flyknit. It's one of um one of the ones that I do leave their mark on the world um, when a lot of their lives will inevitably be cut short. Um, so this one here is also one of my favorite. Brody Miller. The animal's talking about the red parrot that I think sold for like fifty grand. Um, that was made for his uh, his doctor. The details there they're amazing. Uh, you know. With the, the whole Dernbacher, the popularity, one thing that does get soiled is the fact that there's that resale, that, that secondary market. And, um, you know, ultimately that money does not go to, toward the cause. So I know that's something that we wanted to speak on. Um, I'll go through these. These are the Jody rock stars, I'm going to call them. <laughs> <laughs> they got the rock star on the back. So Jody definitely needs a pair of those. And then just kind of wrap it up here. The, the uh, Hirachi. these Hirachi kind of have that, that Cubs or Oilers theme. Yeah, it's really, really Houston dope. Oilers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, let, amazing let, let work. Let me ask you, we're, we're talking about the reseller on these. You know, we, we all love these shoes. You know, would, would we still love them as much if they were GR, if they weren't a limited run? Would we still go out and cop these shoes? Absolutely. Mm. I would 100% like for one, eight, the, the cause. Um, and number two, it's, it's not about the hype for me. It, it's about having something different. It's the story yeah. behind it. The fact that, you know, some child who has some rare disease, you know, made this, like I said, it's about that person leaving their mark on the world and me having a piece of that. I mean, I, and I, and I agree. I'm, yeah. I think the name makes it, ahead, I think the name makes it, makes it more special than, you know, we're back. We're back. Um, but I think that I think that um, well, I mean we've seen a lot more come out. I mean I remember back in the day it was a lot harder to get a pair, and now you know through the sneakers app and things like that you're able to get them. Um, 
So I just think it's it's just awesome to have them in your collection. I mean, it's just something that that collect regardless if it's a GR or not. I would I would definitely get the ones that I like. I don't like all of them. Uh, I probably get the twelve, and I like the Vapor Max. I think the Vapor Max are sick. So those are sweet. I think that they all, overall they're all they're all unique. Um, I don't. It's like virtually impossible for myself to get them all because they are limited or what have you. So you kind of have to target what you really want for me would be the up tempos and the twelves. But um, so let me let me ask you. Guys, they're all really nice. Let me ask you guys a quick question because I had sent this text out to Dan on Friday, and <clears throat> as corny as it might sound, you know I got corny. six of the <laughs> six of the DBs right now, and one of my friends sent over the picture, uh, you know, the little girl who had the twelves on, and it, it kind of bothered me when I started thinking about it. I said at the end of the day, people lose focus of what the whole point of the release of these shoes are you know and you got a lot of resellers and everything buying these at the end of the day i will get these from a re from a retail store because i know where the money is going but under no circumstances am i moving forward buying these from resellers because that money is not going towards what this was designed for. but i mean it, it does to a point because the they, they they were purchased so now, see right Right, and, and and you're right because I, I had this conversation with somebody else. At the end of the day, they were purchased. Nike gets their money. I get that. They got their but forecasted then, amount. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're going to pay more for it. I mean, you're not giving to, to like directly to the cause, but I mean, I guess a portion right. of your money does go towards that from what they had to recoup from the actual shoe. It's focused on it's focused on mall. Oh. The screen's stuck on mall. Okay. Oh, then <laughs> just cut his feet. But I mean, I, I get you, Kev. I mean, and, and a friend of mine said the same thing, right? He was like, at the end of the day, they're making their numbers because those units that were sold are being purchased at the end of the day. I right, guess let me ask you this. Is, yes. I mean, what's different from all the other DBs that you bought? Why are you all of a sudden gaining a conscience now? You know what? It, you're right. I mean, sometimes you gain a conscience and things later down the line. Like, I used to be a bigger asshole back in the day. I'm a much better asshole now. It just... Like, no, but well, what it is, no, <laughs> what it is, is you're trying to trim down, man, and you're searching for something to to like, well, give you a reason to to not to not get into that. No, no. And there's nothing wrong with that because I do that. I do it too. I look for so a it reason. Matter. Yeah, I look so for. Right. I actually messed up because I do want to go for these, and I just said I was going on a break, so I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be in. Trouble. You ain't lying to nobody but yourself. <laughs> I am. <'cause> I <laughs> We know you're not stepping out of the game. You be sitting there like Pookie in crack house. But I I know for a fact I'm gonna take an L on both the ones that I'm trying to get at the end of the day. So it, it's not about trying to trim down because I'm still gonna go for these, right? You're gonna and get them. I, you will get just, them even if you don't get them from Nike. Guaranteed. I'm not gonna do that. Yes, you if are. I don't get them on Nike, right. hands down, I have bought. I'm not getting any newer ones coming out. Kenny, I'm interested uh, on on your feedback here. What do you think? Uh, the whole Dornbecker situation is is a phenomenal thing. Uh, you know, Jordy's a real good friend of mine, and he's dealt with them directly. You know, taking the whole collection up there, going going and seeing the kids, doing a lot of little functions with them and stuff. And it's he tried to get me to come up there twice, and just we couldn't connect the dots. But for me, it's a I love it. You know, I think it's a phenomenal thing. I think that the kids getting to leave their mark regardless if they are a able to, you know, live a healthy life for 70 years or whatever it may be, um, or if it is cut short, which is sadly. But, you know, I'm just glad they're able to leave their mark. I'm glad that Nike gives these kids that, that, that opportunity to feel a certain way. You know, they get this, this feeling. I mean, I couldn't imagine being a young man and being able to design a shoe for Nike, man. That would <laughs> – I remember being in seventh grade and eighth grade. I used to draw – you know, the Jordan sixes all the time, you know, that was a shoe that I couldn't get as a kid. And so I would draw it and draw it and draw it until I had it perfected. And now, you know, I sit back and when I draw my, whenever I drew my own shoe, you know, it was just a, it's a phenomenal feeling to know that you're making something that's yours and you're collabing with somebody that you've looked up to, or that you, you wear their sneakers of that day, you know, of just to school or you know, maybe, maybe it might be to go get your, shots done or whatever it may be in the in actual you know thing that they're going through they're still able to connect with the shoes and have that that whole ism and 
the charity issue, you know, raising over one point something million dollars to go towards this this whole ism. I don't feel any remorse whatsoever. And I'm going to say it real, real, you know, straight up. If I got to pay a little extra money for some kicks, I'm in. Uh, sign me up because it's whenever you wear them, it's a commemoration of what these kids are going through and the trials and tribulations. And unless you're that person looking for the dollar on the resale, when you've bought them on resale, then that's a little different subject. I'm mad at those type of people. Be honest with you, trying to make the dollar off the dollar. But you know, it is what it is, man. I support good people understanding. I'm gonna make a couple bucks off this shoe, but I'm not gonna try to go. Oh, okay, I pay 200. It's 700 now. That's rate right there. So, no, you make 200 bucks on a 200 dollar shoe, 400. Call me up. You know, I'll I'll buy all them Dorn Beckers from you because it's it's supporting something that goes somewhere. That's how I look at it. That's just my my belief, my looks. Um, I do see a lot of the backlashes from a lot of things that people really don't get to see, and I mean that from my own business perspective and what we do for our community. Um, we, we've over 4,600 jobs we've brought to just this area alone and being able to affect people's lives like that and knowing that you're providing, put stuff on the table, it re really makes you sleep very good at night. So it's one of those deals, man, you know, when you look back on it, you're like, okay, the whole deal of them being able to make the money, they already did it every shoe they sell to you know to the actual seller not the reseller they made their money there so and like i said if i'm supporting a cause i'm in um obviously i can't always get everything for retail i would love to but i can't and this will be one i can't get for retail and i'm gonna end up paying resale because i will have that that jordan 12 for sure for sure you know that's just how i do it i've got them all to this point I'm not going to stop now. And my famous motto is, if you're going to collect it, collect it. So yeah, that's what's <laughs> up. That's how I feel about that's it. right. It is what it is. I'm going to get them 12s too. Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> it'll happen. All right. So are we ready for the hashtag hero? All right. Let's go. Let's do it. And get it. Mike. Yo. All right. Here we go. Oh, my bad. I didn't see you. Anyway. Oh, Echo. Hashtag. <laughs> Is it Echo now? No, I didn't. No, that's your new hashtag. That's your new. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Check it out. So here we go. Uh, hashtag heroes. Pick the best five between the uh, co hosts. And uh, here we go. Uh, we're, I'm going to kick it off right now. Me, my pick was Witness the King. Uh, glad he's back on posting some picks with the LeBron. Uh, Christ the King threes and the socks to match it up. This is my hashtag here for the week. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm glad he's back. Definitely set it off with a nice pick here. And uh, yeah, this is my hero. All right. Next week. Um, oh, I'm sorry. My bad, Dan. Next, uh, so right. we got MJ, MG, MGJ, my bad, MGJ 12. Who, who picked the. Uh, That's mine. Um, with the uh, Bulls over Broadway. Uh, tens. I mean, I think that this is probably the best uh, Bulls over Broadway picture I've seen. I mean, it's super clean. Um, I mean, it's the the details in it. I mean, to me. Um, and then and, you know, I got to go with the Buckeye. So you know, <laughs> so that's my hashtag hero, Mike Mike Jenkins. <laughs> All right, Holy girl, Jenkins. Mike, <clears throat> Mike Jenkins on here twice because uh, that's him with the with the hair ones. Who, uh, who whose pick was that? That is me. My holy girl Jenkins. That's a, that's a dope shot from 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 Lil Bro. So uh, and that's a pair of shoes that I, I definitely need for my collection. You don't have them? I don't know. No, I ain't got those, man. I, I ain't got, got those. Man. I got those. I need I those. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely need to add those. So, but yeah, I had, I had to go with Lil Bro on this. All right. All right next, we got Thriller from Manila. That yeah, would be me. So, um, we got the Chinese New Year Twelves with the taxis in the back. So two for the price of one. My hashtag hero. Oh, and first it, of all, you, you did a terrible job, Mike. You didn't even introduce what the hashtag hero was for last week. So, Oh, my bad, man. Hashtag oh, hero week was hold this burrito. Hold this burrito, yeah. Hold this burrito, thanks to Dan and uh, and Julian, a.k.a. Oh My Kicks Dope. Oh, my 
Right. And and thank y'all for using it. This this week was probably like oh yeah, it was great. Used yeah. more than any other hashtag. I mean, it, y'all had so many picks to choose from, man. Y'all y'all killed it this week. It was it was a little tough. Um, and then last we got a uh, sneakerheads clothing line with the uh, Chicago's. Yeah, so that's mine. I love Chicago's. Um, it's my like second favorite one, right behind the black toe. The black toe is my favorite one, but I just excuse me. I really like this pick. Um, I like what he's got going on. It's just a it's a clean pick of a of a really dope shoe. So, um, shout out to Sneakerhead Clothing Line and what he's doing. Uh, I, I dig that pick. So, who gets the rejuvenator package? That is the key. That is the question. Uh, I'm going with mine. <laughs> this, this is we always we always do this. Everybody goes. No, we don't. Home. No, we don't. No, no, no we, we don't. don't. Let's Kenny. All right, all right, Kenny, you pick. It's on you. Can oh, he, he see, can't it? see it? He can't see it. Oh, see it. Yeah, yeah, see it. Oh, you can see it, guys. Well, you know, I'm partial. Um, there's only one LeBron in these photos. So, Ooh. Um, <laughs> and my man witnessed the king killed it. I'm sorry. These are these are Zoom soldiers, folks. Fairfax. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Christ the King, um, boy. Um, and he killed it with the socks. I'm not a big fan of these these joggers nowadays. I hate to say it. You know, it's kind of a falling off subject for me. But um, I love the shoe, though. I love the shoe. Yeah, for me, it's Witness the King. All right. Well, the king has spoken. There it is. So that's it. <laughs> Witness the King will get um, the package. So he is our, our hashtag hero winner. What will be our hashtag for... Mm. I jotted a couple down. There was been a couple of good ones. Um, all right, what you got, Mark? I jotted yeah. game for all in the beginning. Um, game hash- for all? Yep. Hashtag sample cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a dope one. Yep. <laughs> so those were the two that I highlighted. Those are the two that uh, stuck out to me. <laughs> I don't see any. Oh, no, there's sample car. There are eight posts on sample cars or sample car. So. Um, that sounds like. That's fun. I mean, we. I mean, I, we, we. We can't do Trailer Park. That's for sure because <laughs> probably, probably yeah. hundred thousand. Probably about a million of those. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> um, we'll do with hashtag sample car. Kim, they don't never show me no love for my red yeah. cup. Yeah, I put that on the chat every week. They don't never show me no love. They just skip over my red cup. Or something. <laughs> you know how Pearl, many Pearl. bros? <laughs> you know how many bros? Hashtag. Red sample cup. cars. Sample cars, the cars, the uh, plural. Oh, it's multiple. Okay. Right. So let me see. There are. He okay. said there's multiples. <laughs> yeah, there are multiples. All right. So there's three public posts on that one. Plural. Okay. Hashtag sample cars. All right. So please use our our hat. Be a part of our you know program. Be a part of the show. Hashtag hero. The hashtag is sample cars. The. Because there are multiple. Not and don't cars. nobody text me asking me what's the hashtag because we've said it by seventeen times. I'm a, I'll, I'll post something in the um, in my IG story later because I get yes. Don't, don't nobody watch your IG story. So I <laughs> that's not, that's not a good, good so I can talk about you and you can't say shit. When I do. Oh lordy! All right, we are now into overtime. So let's start with the shout outs from left to right, Maul. Uh, well, shout out Kenny. We appreciate you coming on, chopping it up with us for the entire two hours. No uh, that's awesome, man. It, uh, it's been real, that's for sure. Uh, shout out to our sponsor, Rejuvenator. Dan, you've got a little bit of a presentation behind you. Folks, remember to use product code Monday Midsole, 10% off your purchase. Uh, shout out to the homies at Stance. Shout out to my people at Under Armour. Definitely appreciate it. This pack's the real deal. I don't care what y'all say. You can call it corny. I'm corny. Um, I ain't gonna call it corny. <laughs> no. Shout out to the usual suspect. Gotta be constructive. Appreciate y'all more than you'll... It is what it is, baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it's been a great show. Had a great time with you guys. Can't wait till next week. All right, Mike. Oh, so me. Okay, looks good. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna touch on yes. Uh, shout out to you, Kenny. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, usually we got people ducking out, you know, a little early and everything else. I know you're a busy, man. You got things going on. So thank you for coming in. This is probably one of if not the best show in my opinion that we've had so thank you for being on um 
I want to shout out you guys, everybody who sent me your uh, pictures for Breast Cancer Month. Um, I got a lot of pictures from people I didn't even know. I was able to go the full 30, uh, 30 days. I got a couple more tomorrow, filling it up. So I definitely want to say thank you to all you guys. Um, just putting it out there, you know, life is more than just sneakers. And by you guys sending in your pictures and stuff, definitely appreciated you guys supporting the cause. Um, and last, I'm actually going to get ready to, I've had some, uh, and I talked to the guys earlier about this. I was kind of down, and that's why I love these guys. Um, you know, we talk every day, and, and we don't just talk about sneakers. We, we talk about everyday life. You know, life's not sneakers. Um, and I was telling them, like, today was just a rough day for me. You know, um, I've had some issues as far as trying to get funding and everything for the app. And I'm just kind of, I told them earlier, I kind of even regret it. If it weren't for the relationships that I've made by starting this app, I actually regretted it doing it you know um and i had some reactions to the guys that they said i need to take a snickers and dan called me up so um i just wanted to tell these guys you know i love you guys you know thank you guys for you know keeping me up um but as far as i'm gonna send out a kickstarter campaign um i don't ask for anything i hate asking for stuff because everybody always holds it above you but i really need you guys help as far as trying to get the message out i'm gonna get the link out Feel free to pr pr pass it on for donations, investors, whatever, any support you guys can give. Um, and I'm just going to keep grinding at the end of the day. You know, you guys are all in my corner um, and, and, and I appreciate all you guys. So, um, so you know, I'm going to jump off the soapbox. Now. But again, for you guys, I really appreciate it earlier because I'm telling you, I was on some fuck the world shit earlier. Yeah, you were. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, I'm tired, you know. I'm out here. I'm tired. Like people don't know, I'm fucking tired, you know. So. We need to get that Grammys music that they play when people talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up, B. Yep. Just cut his feet you know off. Should have muted him. On next. I, I love you guys. I hate Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kenny. You got any shout outs this evening? Man, you know, I'll give a big shout out to my wife. She's my number one supporter out there in the world. Um, you know, I'll give another big shout out to all my fans. Uh, it's overwhelming everywhere I go, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. I photos, I mean, I'm always signing my damn name. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just crazy, man. And I just last night, you know, just a little, just real quick, we went to, you know, the horror nights here in, in Hollywood and the lady who was our VIP host, she finally turned around. Who the hell are you? <laughs> you know? Because everywhere we went, it was just over and over and over and over. And I don't, I'm not one to shy away from it. I'm not one to turn it down to that. Oh man, I don't have time for this. No, I got, I got all the time. That's how I look at it. So very overwhelming. Shout out to all my true fans. Shout out to all my true supporters. And shout out to you guys, man, for having a real, show here a real podcast real you know whatever you want to call it this is to me this is what it should be about not coming on here to get a person to come on to bash people and that's what i see a lot of these end up being and i've watched a lot of what you guys do and i support it 100 percent. so i like what you guys are doing it's phenomenal it's not a it's not a hate show Oh, yeah. And that's what I see a lot of these shows turn <laughs> into. Hate. They all hate shows. They're not about helping or moving forward or it's how how far can we drag this person through the mud in front of everybody and then make fun of him and make it a bad subject and then walk away feeling good at the end of the night banging on my chest when you don't have a girl, you don't have a car, you're probably renting your house, you know, and then you're talking about, about a person like myself who owns six different properties who has 11 cars all paid for, you know, things that are real, forget the sneakers. You know, my wife doesn't want for anything. My five kids don't want for anything. My six grandbabies don't want for anything. I think I'm doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Right. So in the end, I'll say thank you to all my haters too. Boom. Hey. That's what's up. Kev, yeah, what you got? All right. Uh, first of all, thank you, Kenny, man. Uh, definitely appreciate you coming out here, man, uh, for sure. And then I, I'm gonna run through um, the people that shout us out uh, on the uh, on the gram, you know, for the show. Definitely appreciate you. So I want to keep that going. I'm gonna go real quick. Michael Skinner, Thuggis, DJ Mel B, Kendall Renee, Funky Lace, Thrilla, uh, Eros Ben, uh, Witness the King, Jody Rockstar, um, and then 
Perfect pair, man. Uh, thank you, thank, thank you guys home. for uh, shouting us out because you guys are, you know, spreading the geography, the geography for us. Um, but also, I want to thank uh, Eight and Nine, our other sponsor. Uh, in addition to Rejuvenator, um, like I said, both uh, both links are actually in the description. If you guys need shoe cleaner, you got Rejuvenator. If you want some clothes, you know, this is an Eight and Nine sweatshirt. You know, I call this my Hugh Hefner. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and then also our sister shows, uh, shout out to, uh, the sneaker files. And I was actually uh, able to be on their show, uh, last Thursday. Um, you can catch them, uh, Thursday, seven to eight. And then also, uh, the sneaker box podcast, you can catch them on Saturdays at 11 and then talking kicks. You can catch them Wednesday at eight 30. And then also this week. On Buckeye City Soul, uh, I'll be live at 8.30 on Thursday. So uh, check me out. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being a part of the show, being a part of this thing that we do. Without y'all, this would just be six dudes chatting it up <laughs> on a video screen. Um, so it would be a really weird FaceTime. Yeah. So thank y'all so much. We're glad that y'all are here. Um if you use the code Monday Mid Soul at Rejuvenator, you can get 10% off your entire purchase. You can get all of these products. You can make your shoes smell good. You can cover up the bottom of your sole somewhere. You can send your shoes to the laundry, keep them water resistant. Whatever the case you need, whatever you need, it's right there. Um, and shout out to my kids for getting their ass beat while I was on the show. And um, the pizza that's on the way, <laughs> shout out to the pizza guy. Shout out to my belt for doing his thing. Um, <laughs> And shout out to Papa John, man. I, I love Papa John. So. With Papa that, John. I turn it over to <laughs> Papa John. Maybe love watching, Mondays. They love Mondays. He's about the belt, y'all. He, he wasn't no, serious. I'm, yeah, I am. Bye, 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 Chattopee. Hey, we're in the South. That shit don't exist, homie. All right. Oh, man. It exists up here. <laughs> yeah, you, the yeah, you yoked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are y'all doing? <laughs> they like, damn, that's messed up what they did to that one-legged dude. <laughs> they put him in Andy Dufresne cell. What the shit? Marcus, all right, real would. quick, couple, couple people, the uh, Kev, Kev left off. Uh, D-Lo for shouting us out all the time. Miss DMV Soul for always shouting us out. I ain't got uh, tagged in that one. Uh, Kimberly Evans, all y'all shout us out this week, and we appreciate it. I mean, everybody, the whole chat, man, y'all – Came through with the true blue threes today and oh, tribute yes. the perfect pair. Y'all, y'all was killing it. I don't even know if I got to all of them because it got to the point where my fingers got tired from trying to <laughs> post all the pics because y'all came through for real and show love and we appreciate that. Uh, you know, uh, shout out, just shout out to the whole chat. Shout out to Rose for having my back, uh, holding me down as always. Shout out to my boys, you know, on the panel. Love y'all dudes. Y'all always lift me up. You know, always got things going on in my life, but y'all always make me turn around and look at it from a different perspective. So. Got love for you guys. And to the perfect pair, man. I mean, when you when I heard you was coming on the show, dude, and these dudes will tell you, I was hyped. I, was, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean you said, who need a mock? Because I mean, just for real, yeah. on the real tip, you know, the you got wet. <laughs> I saw you on YouTube years ago, and I mean, I saw that you was a humble dude, you know, and you you always show love to the community and everything. I saw you when we was in Cali and I didn't get to come shop it up with you, but I mean, I, I saw what you were doing at Sneaker Con. And I, I appreciate what you do, man, for real. You know, you, you're a real dude in the community. And just keep being who you are, man, because we need more people like you in the sneaker community, man. I mean, for real. So shout out to you for coming on the show. Uh, and with that, you know, usual suspects, we got nothing but love for y'all. You know, just keep on showing us love, and we're going to keep on bringing this great content and these super special guests that we have. And with that being said, we'll see y'all next week. Peace out. Hey, hey guys. Oh, big goals, huh? All right. <laughs> Well, see you later. Go for a piece of pizza. <laughs>